after six months of braving the elements of the regular season, they only have three games to complete the first leg of their postseason journey. It's gone! That's going to win the ball game! Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny. They've got to weather each setback. Withstand each challenge if they want to survive the wild card series. In Cleveland, everybody from Progressive Field, the Rays and the Guardians square off as the folks continue to file in. We bring you the American League wild card series as the 2022 postseason kicks off right here. Let's they got the strikeouts. You got a quick peek there at Tyler Glass now, who will start tomorrow. That one ripped up the middle and a base hit for Oscar Gonzalez. So with one out, a man aboard as the throw kicks away. Gonzalez will stay put at first. Glass Keep those runs from off the board. Chopped the other way, and that's a base hit. The Rosarena picks it up. Naylor punches it the other way. And the Guardians are in business. Two on, one out. Okay. Come on his left arm. Swing and a ground ball towards third. Diaz steps on third. Throw to first. Out at first. Wow. What a stretch by G-Man Choi. And they turn the double play. Well, he put him and sail on him because he's making the throw on the run, momentum going the other way, but watch Choi, I mean, full stretch. Had to make a decision, do I stay on or make sure that ball doesn't get away? And here he is across the body, great catch, great backhand, clutch timing. Once told me, watch the body language of the hitter when he goes back to the dugout. And so far, the Rays body language hasn't been as good. Well, they got good Until body now. language there. Siri unloads. And a home run for Jose Siri. And just like that, the Rays have a 1-0 lead. Siri goes yard, and he hammered it. I mean, hey, Siri, how hard did you hit that ball? Exit Velo 107.5 earlier in the game watch this spin right over the heart of the plate four seamer just trying to get a strike in the zone and all of a sudden he leaked it out over the top and Siri did not miss it him to swing it if they're going to go on a run 1-1 swing and a high fly ball center field that one back Siri at the wall that one is gone Jose Ramirez And the Guardians have taken the lead. It's 2-1. Well, McClanahan tried to go up where he didn't want to release this pitch. The velocity was earning the ball over and didn't get it down. He knew he wanted to get it down and away. The location was elevated. And Ramirez, such a good hitter, just stays through it with power. Watch the head position, just following the ball to right field the entire way and knew he got a lot of that ball, takes off and breaks right into the trot. Siri does what he can, gets to the wall, just simply runs out of room. And Glasse deals. Hit in the air, left field. Quan. Ball game. And the Guardians have taken game one. They use their star power, Bieber and Ramirez. 2-1 your final. Well, Cleveland played their game. They defend. They rely on Jose Ramirez to electrify this offense. And that's all they needed because Bieber was that good. Someone who located. It is one of the great baseball towns in the United States, St. Louis. The site of the National League Wild Card Series between the Phillies and the Cardinals. Obviously, the Cardinals with Albert Pujols leading the way got huge cheers from this sellout crowd. It is time for baseball. For him. And that one's grounded to third, backhanded by Arenado. The throw to first. Got him. Oh, he's flashing that platinum glove. Arenado with a beauty. 
easy, but that's what he does. All he does is win gold gloves, nine of them, and platinum gloves, five of them. How about the bottom of the first coming up? High drive, left field, going back. Schwarber looking up. See ya! A two-run home run! A pinch hit home run! And this place is going nuts! Two-nothing cards! He was waiting for him, first pitch, looking for that cutter, beats him to the spot, and then it was just a matter of is it fair or foul. And a huge home run here. Set up by the walk, and then first pitch swinging. Did not hold up on the slider. Down goes Hoskins, one away. That's lined into left center field. That's going to dunk in there for a base hit. So now Harper will come up with a chance to tie. Rio Muto with a one-out single here in the ninth. Threw him a breaking ball, and it's low and inside, and that put the tying runners on base now, and that'll bring up Castellanos. He was... 3-1. Breaking ball low and away, and the bases are loaded. The 1-1. In a run, and it's 2 1 Cardinals. That ball hit him, scoring is Rio Muto, and the bases remain loaded. And the 2 2 punched out and past the diving. Edmund into right field. One run scores. Two run score, and the Phillies have come all the way back. And they take a 3-2 lead on the clutch. Two outs, two run single by Segura. It is 3-2 Phillies. Contact is king in October and a great pitch. Even better hitting, putting the ball in play. Ground balls with eyes, two ribbies, and going first to third and still set up. Ground ball. And a nice stab by Goldschmidt. He's coming home. And he's safe. Sliding in is Sosa. Ahead of the tag. And it is 4-2. Phils. 78% of the time, the team that wins game one of a best of three wins the series. Chop. Left side. And past Arenado. And into left field. Here comes Segura. Here's the throw. He's in there. Moving to third is stop. It's an RBI single for Marsh, and it's 5-2 Phillies. It's been unbelievable. I mean, they haven't hit the ball hard once, but they're finding the holes, they're running the bases. Tough at bats, and they've been... High fly ball. That'll get a run in. Deluzio makes the catch. Tagging and scoring is Stott. It's a sack fly for Schwarber, and it's 6-2 Phillies. Eflin deals the 1-1. It's short, being through for a base hit. Arenado rounds third. He will score. It's a pinch hit RBI single for Corman, and the Cardinals are still alive. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And that'll do it. The Phillies beat the Cardinals 6-3 to take a one game to nothing lead in this best of three wild card series. And what a ninth inning.
from the great city of Toronto where an entire country has focused its attention inside the Rogers Center on this October day. The Blue Jays back at home in front of their fans in the playoffs against a team that has waited so long to get here. The Seattle Mariners it's game one of this best of three. Suarez line drive and that is a fair ball. It's going to make it into the corner and that's going to put the Mariners ahead. Rodriguez around third he'll score. Hernandez digs it out but into second Suarez with a double and what a great start for this team. Seattle you wait all that time to get in the playoffs and your first inning you jump ahead. Watch how late he is. Up. Three and two to Cal Raleigh. He drives that one deep to right field on its way and it is gone. Had to look a whole lot like that home run in Seattle just a week or so ago. It is three nothing Mariners. Cal Raleigh adding to his legend with a home run in his first playoff at bat. Over this. See where Kirk is set up inside, just misses right over the plate. The two seam kind of runs right over the middle of the plate into the cookie zone for Cal Raleigh. So I told you he's given up 18. Suarez waiting goes after the first pitch didn't hit it hard Chapman will get the out at second and that's all that the Blue Jays can get Rodriguez comes in to score just didn't hit it hard enough to turn to it's four nothing Mariners and you were saying before the game Dave that the Giants bring the infield in all the time and maybe that run doesn't score if the Amy retired that fearsome top of the order on three ground balls he gets Chapman here with strike three swinging the slider got him. They have secondary stuff with amazing movement. Tapia strikes out swinging 98 mile an hour fastball. Jansen was behind 0 2. Now it's 3 2. The pitch struck him out swinging. And the fist, fist bump to go with it. Luis Castillo strikes out the side. Three back. On the ground to second. Frazier's got it. And that's out number three. The ball game's over. And the Seattle Mariners are one win away from advancing to the division series. Cal Raleigh with another big home run for the Mariners and Luis Castillo's dominance carrying the day. Tremendous pitching from Seattle. It's been a minute. Mets back in the postseason. First time since 2016. They won 101 games. The Padres back after a one year hiatus. And boy, did they look different. You just saw. Juan Soto. This is a series of superstars and expectations for both teams. He was Washington. Here it comes on a 3 1. That one is laced deep to left field, and this one may get out of here. It does! Bell on a 3 1 pitch, his 18th of the year, and the Padres take Scherzer out and grab a 2 0 lead. Josh Bell. On 3-0, it was a beautiful take. Yes, sir. Reason being, like, okay, I've got this. Next pitch leaks out over the plate. This one just a little bit more inside than the last one. Flips about, and he knew it. Beautifully balanced. What a great start for Josh Bell after struggling since he's since he arrived in San Diego. It may be the Met uniform. Mentioned he had had great success against him, and uh, McNeil into right field. Late jump for Lindor. Soto has it, and there will be no run for the Mets. Door froze for a second, but Mariners are on the corners for Pete Alonso. Called strike three. Alonso frozen on a cutter at the bottom of the zone, and a huge strikeout for Darvish. And two, seven straight strikes from Darvish. And Vogelback, right field, playable for Soto if it stays. And it does in the corner. He makes it in fair territory. Did not drift foul enough. And the Mets will strand two. Lindor at third, McNeil at first. Point. And also a great mix of pitches. 
This ball to right, going back is Marte, still going back. It's carrying, and it carries over the wall. Trent Grisham's 18th on the year, and the Mets, who got stung by the home run ball against the Braves, have given up two tonight. And they've given up two tonight to two players that have been struggling coming into the postseason. Not only with a double. And now Profar sends this one to right field. It's headed to the corner. And that's fair, and it's gone! Jurickson Profar, three-run home run. Three more runs for the Padres. And the third homer makes it 6-0 San Diego. Quality of the pitch is not there that we usually see from, from Scherzer. The sharpness of the break, the tighter spin. If it's a little looser, it's a little less sharp. That's what happens. Jerickson Profar picks up Hassan Kim and Austin Nola on his run around the bases. From the Padre hitters. Machado trying to add on. Laces this to left. Will it stay high enough? It does. Another home run by the Padres. The fourth allowed by Scherzer. 7-0 San Diego. That was a laser beam to left. And here comes Buck Showalter, and there goes Max Scherzer. Doubles. Slug. When you need your MVP to represent, he does. This is a big dagger. They were down six, nothing. That makes it seven, nothing, and it got out of here in a hurry. Padres are rolling via the home run. You got a one ball, two strike count on Escobar. That ball's hit hard to center. Grisham going back, still going back. He leaps, and it's gone. Eduardo Escobar puts the Mets on the scoreboard and gives the folks here something to cheer about. That's Eduardo's 21st. And first of the postseason. It's out there. 99.5 miles per hour off the bat. Hey. Called strike three. That's how it ends. An awfully impressive pitching performance by the Padres, especially their starter, Darvish. Four homers against Scherzer, and they make a statement here at City Field, winning game one, seven to one. Well, certainly they scored first, drew first blood, and then they added on late, and that guy was fantastic tonight, You Darvish. Cleveland, the Guardians and the Rays getting set to square off. It is game two. We've got another really good pitching matchup as we get set for action, cool temperatures, but some sun here today in Cleveland. A sea of red as the Rays try and stave off elimination. Let's check it's the top of the zone. They've flown out to center weekly. Inside corner, got him. One up, one down. Let's end it downstairs because of the lack of power. 2-2. Two -two. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Struck him out. Two here. Man at first. And a pitch to Margot. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Tristan McKenzie pitches around the walk. Three strikeouts in the inning. Midway in the second. Nothing, nothing. He's made big improvements behind the plate. The 0-2 cut on and missed. Struck him out on a curveball. And the right-hander is ready. Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, and he settled into quite a groove. That's a oh, and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. McKenzie strikes out the side. He's got a half dozen punch outs. The Rays, the Guardians, no score, middle of the third. Waits. They had a swing and a miss, and he got him. Huge strikeout for Jason Adam as to play the Yankees. Yeah. 
Ground ball. They get one. And they get two, and they get out of it. What a job by Jason Adam. He comes in, puts out the fire. Two. Bounce towards third, fair ball. Ramirez, long throw, picked it first, out at first. And the first base coach, Chris Prieto, saying he came off the base. Let's see if they review it. When you look at this play, and Ramirez is already, this is a great play, backhand and has to throw going the wrong direction. And watch this scoop. I mean, this is, he catches it at shoulder height. The question is, is that toe on the base? And it looks like a firm position. And the thing is, the way Margot is reacting. Swing and a high fly ball. Left field, way back. Ball game. Gonzalez walks it off. And the Guardians are moving on to the division series. Here in the 15th, the rookie buries one over the high wall. Your final in 15, one nothing, Cleveland. I mean, what a job by Gonzalez. He waited back, made an adjustment, stayed back, and was looking for the pitch. And when he got it, he did not miss it. And really cut her modified, but out over the heart of the plate. You talk about knowing it. He's like, I got it. I was looking for it, and I didn't miss it. It's the bat going, and he had every kind of dance. But he, look at that. He, no commitment to be fooled on that. This ball was out over the heart of the plate. And at contact, he was confident this ball was leaving. Stays back all the way through, finishes high and is in celebration mode. He went around the bases with every step there was. He did basketball, dribbled, sidestep. I think he was making up dances along the way, but why not? And welcome to the 2022 Wild Card Series on ESPN, presented by Hankook Tire, where this place is packed again. Blue Jays fans hoping to avoid their team being eliminated. Vernon Wells, an all-time Blue Jays great, was here to throw out the ceremonial first pitch. Be 13th. In that game, 0-2. Frazier, liner to short, and a leaping catch by Bichette. What a play. Oh, the Bo Bichette, get up. I mean, this is a good, what's the vertical on that? Five, six feet, him getting up to be able to take away a hit on a good-looking swing from Adam Frazier. He is a great athlete. He's a great tennis player. He still plays in the offseason. He says, it keeps me athletic, and there was a very athletic play. Wow. Two and one. Hernandez, high drive, left field, and it is gone. it was a miss I mean the slider up in the zone we've seen him kind of back foot it to the right handed batters and this was right at the chest into that zone for Hernandez 104 miles an hour off the bat 401 feet a towering shot the first time we've seen these Blue Jays fans on their feet and something to yell for for this offense I mean it's funny he was watching it for Line drive up the middle base hit. A low liner that skipped through, and that's going to score Espinal. And Guerrero is pumped at first base. It's 3 0 Blue Jays. And of course, Springer got drilled by a pitch. Teoscar Hernandez drives this one deep left field. It's gone. His second home run of the game against Robbie Ray. 4 0 Jays. Wow. 
and then you feel like you're right back in the game and you are Kelnick instead to left center not that deep we'll see Merrifield underneath it Frazier is going to tag and try to score the throw is going to get cut off so Kelnick deep enough for the sacrifice fly and the Mariners are on the board after the intentional walk at first that one gets by Raleigh he missed it he'll throw late and it gets by the plate Crawford backs it up as Espinal slides in safely and scores the other two runners advance Seawall oh it hits him yikes it hit him I mean Raleigh didn't know where the ball was and I think he thought that for some reason it didn't hit him. I don't know what Cal Raleigh thought but that's a run so Teoscar Hernandez will go to first. It's a high fly ball center field way up there in the park. Rodriguez will catch Guerrero tags the throw goes toward third. It's a sacrifice fly and another run for the Jays seven to one. On the ground it's a fair ball. Rumbling around third Kirk and he will score into second with a double. You don't have to hit all of them hard. Danny Jansen makes it eight to one. I'm sure the Mariners don't look good but they score runs. That one is hit high to left field. Tapia going back all the way back at the wall. It is gone. Carlos Santana from his stronger side takes Mesa deep and the Mariners are feeling like they're back in this game. A three run homer and they very much are. Yeah they are back in this game and this is exactly what you said about Carlos Santana as you see back in Seattle pitch he just missed the same location knew they were going to go back there. Talk about how strong he is yeah. that's one hand he hit that out. Now, line drive, base hit left center field. Hernandez in to score. Nine to five, Blue Jays. But you're right, it's not easy to make these calls. Raleigh into left center field. That's going to be another hit for Cal Raleigh. Suarez around third. Tapia cuts it off. That'll hold the catcher to a single. But the Mariners on the board again. It's nine to six. Still nobody out. In the on deck circle. Crawford to center field. Not deep. Sprinting in Springer. And Bichette oh. and Springer collide. The ball falls. And everybody's going to score. The Mariners have tied the game and now Bichette and Springer are laid out in the outfield. <sighs> Frazier is and he pulls that one into right field. That's going to be a hit and it's going to put the Mariners ahead. Raleigh around to score and a second with a double 10 to 9. Mariners have come all the way back and now they're three outs away from moving on. He had never faced Romano in a game. Kirby comes set. Is 0 2. Tapia to center field. Rodriguez there makes the catch. And one of the great comebacks in playoff history sends the Mariners to the division series. An incredible win. It's one of the most remarkable games I've ever seen. Ever. More cowbell. Mets lead a little more offense. Padres need one more win to move on to the series against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Manny Machado hit one of the four home runs for San Diego last night as they destroyed Pete Alonso with the Mets. They took down Max Scherzer. They beat him seven to one. Two down, and Lindor hits this one deep to left field. Going back is Profar, and the pregame batting practice works. Francisco Lindor leaves the building and gives the Mets a 1-0 lead. Al 
LCU, Francisco, again at 345. That's the time he was hitting. And he translated that to 105.8 miles per hour. The distance is set. And the big fastball. Lindor sees it, gets it, anticipates it, and does not miss it. What a feeling for Lindor, who, of course, had that 10-year, $341 million deal. It's to be effective up in the zone to get that swing and miss. Throw it right down the middle. We're going to get that right hand up and say we got one. Christian McNolledge has helped him immensely. Two and one. Hits this one to left center. Nimmo going back. Still going back. He looks up. Christian has done it again. Takes Jacob deGrom out back-to-back -back games with homers for Grisham. And just like that, this game is tied. Check out the postseason, baby. You're loving it right now. Painted down and away. He goes and gets it. Keeps that head down the entire time. And there's another one over the head of Machado in a left field. Diving to stop at his profar, but coming in to score is Escobar. Brandon Nimmo, three for three, and the Mets lead it two to one. Profar, fair ball, bangs off the wall. Grisham, who was sacrificed to second, will come in and score. What an at bat from Jurickson Profar, and we are tied here in the fifth. Alonso, a walk and a strikeout. Nick Martinez came on in relief. And Alonso lines one to left. Forget about it. Deep into the seats. Pete Alonso jumps all over it. The Mets back on top. Three to two. Two guys we talked about in the open that have to turn it on. Francisco Lindor and the polar bear. Pete Alonso. Limited to zero slug coming into this game. Cutter. He knew it as soon as he hit it. Yeah, Cutter into a no doubter. Cool. Padres infielders all in tight. And McNeil. That's in the right field. That's going to play Lindor. Alonzo coming in. Soto slides over, throws it back in. McNeil with a big double. Two more runs for the Mets. They lead it 5-2. to two. At about 10 feet off the line is on the left side. Escobar goes right into the hole. It was vacated in the shift. Canna will come in to score. And it was wide open, and Escobar delivered. 6-2 Mets. Vogelbach hits it hard to right. Soto is there. He'll make the play. He will throw to second. McNeil is in. It's 7-2. The Mets lead it by five. Here it comes. No, Machado walked, run comes in, and now, now a homer would tie it. And here comes Showalter to grab Adam Adovino and bring in Seth Lugo. Set up a curveball. Bell on the ground, Alonzo, he will flip. And the Mets will survive. They win it 7-3. to three. Bell, the tying run, grounds out to the first baseman. And tomorrow night, the rubber game to see who stays alive this postseason. The Stars came out. It was DeGrom on the bump, then Lindor, Alonzo, and Diaz to shut down the door. And look, this is what the Mets needed. There's a tomorrow. If you're is a cool crisp Saturday evening here in St. Louis. We are here for the wild card game two. Phillies and the Cardinals and the Cardinal faithful they will be out in force. This is a win or go home game for St. Louis and it is time for baseball. 
after the All-Star break. Collins long to the center field. It is knocked down by Marsh. Keeps it in front of him. Loop ball goes for two, and he'll make it. One, two. Swing and a miss. Got him. Crowd groans. The 2-2. Two, two. Strike three. Looking at the fastball. High drive, right field. Going back, Castellanos. In front of the track, he makes the play. As Arenado gave it a ride, but not far enough. That was patient and took the walk. Oh. Ellen's driven deep to right field. There it goes! See ya! A long home run for Harper. It is one nothing Phillies. named Daryl Strawberry. This reminds me of one, a moonshot. And it sounded like going off a cannon. Wow. There's some hero ball. Breaking ball, nice and slow, mid-70s. And it was like he was waiting for it, like a softball. He gave Aaron up. And Bohm has been hitting, playing like a gold glove third baseman. Signs a little bit of Mike Schmidt and Scott Rowland in our bun here, Michael. Well, you've got Aaron is on the grass. It's a drag bunt. It's a good bunt. And what a play by Michaelis. Oh, the pitcher made an outstanding play to get Marsh as the runner moves to third. Defense there by the Cardinals all the way around. 94 gold gloves in this rich tradition of the St. Louis Cardinals. Wow. Mm. Falling forward and firing a dart, as Alex said, and Goldschmidt picked it. Fly ball right field. Yepes is there. He makes a catch. Tagging ball. The throw will go to third. He'll make it. Going into second is Stott. It's a sack fly for Schwarber, and it's 2 nothing Phillies. The 2 1. Hit sharply past the diving bone, and it kicks against the sidewall. Schwarber plays it and holds the runners. Nice play by Schwarber, holding two holes to a single. Struck him out. Run with the fastball, and Goldschmidt strikes out. Out number two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out on a slider. What a performance by Sir Anthony Dominguez. He's two balls, two strikes, two outs. And they stay alive, a base hit to left field. Dickerson serves on the left, and that'll bring up Molina. Served in the right center field. That is a base hit. Dickerson will go to third, and the Cardinals are still alive. Will Sosa get there? Yes, he will. And the Phillies hold on. They win 2 0, and they will meet the Atlanta Braves in the National League Division Series. How about the Phillies? Forty-two thousand on hand tonight. The greatest stage, the only stage in baseball left.
All the other wild card series over by virtue of sweeps. This one goes to a game three. The first pitch has been thrown out by the movie star Aquafina. And soon the two pitchers that are assigned the responsibility and role of getting their team to the next round. Nola on the ground, Lindor can't get it. Bell's gonna come in to score. Him follows him. What a job by Austin Nola as the Padres are on the board first. It's 2-0. Two more here in the postseason. And he hits that one hard. Pass Lindor and in a center field. The stolen base pays off. Grisham delivers again. 3-0 San Diego. A rocket off his bat at 107 miles an hour. He's a three runs and all three RBI. And Manny the other way into right field. That's going to bring in the run. Soto's bunt moves the runner to second. Profar is in. It's all Padres now as Machado delivers. Canna hits this one hard, right center field. Grisham going back, all the way back, makes a great catch at the wall. Trent Grisham doing it all as he fires it back in. What a play by the center fielder. From this end, in center field, excellent play. He went a long way for it. And he hits that fair down the third baseline. Hassan Kim is in. Grisham follows. And Juan Soto adds two more. And the Padres are up six to nothing with two outs in the eighth. When the lights shine, my man shows up right there, letting it get deep. He had taken Diaz deep before, and it was down the line in left field as well in D.C. When he was a gnat. One two from Hader. Marte rolls it over. Machado. San Diego will sail into the division series as they come to New York and win two out of three. Joe Musgrove dominates here at City Field. Six nothing the final. got the train rolling here in Houston, Texas. October postseason baseball returns. It's the Mariners and the Astros. MLB on TBS. It is game one of the American League Division Series. And they are... Verlander. And the 1-1. And a line shot. Base hit to right. In to score is Rodriguez. On his way to third goes France. And the Mariners strike first here in game one. And it's Cal Raleigh once again. Here's a one two in the air right center field that is deep and that is down into the gap it goes. This is going to play two runs and Rodriguez styling his way into second base. It's a two RBI double and the Mariners lead three nothing in the second inning. Up above the zone. And he quite didn't get it up high enough. And I had just talked about it. Julio 320 off the fastball this year and gaps it to right center here with a huge hit. A lot of balls in the air right now. Do it again. Another one, two. Back up the middle of the base hit. Rodriguez around third. He'll score easily. And it is an RBI single for Ty France. And look at the Mariners on the road in game one. They lead 4-0. Get the closer out of a jam guy. And then they have some long options. That ball's hit sharply, but right at Pena. Throw to second. Out there. Throw to first. And out there. A double play. Verlander on the ropes. Gets a 6-4-3 double play. Beautifully started. In the air. Left field. Deep. Slicing. Kelnick will turn. This ball's off the wall. It's going to score two. Alvarez into second, a two RBI double. When they need a big hit, they get one from Jordan Alvarez. Julio Rodriguez do next. Verlander delivers, and that one is high and deep to right. 
And J.P. Crawford flexes his muscles. That one is way gone. Crawford launches and makes it 5-2 Seattle. Now fastball down in the zone was able to get extension here. Man, he's trying to go away and pulled that ball right back over the. Hmm. That's how it usually happens, right? The least likely guy you would think to end that home run streak. And he sends that one deep to left field. Alvarez is back at the wall. He leaps. Oh, it drops in and out of his glove. Another run is in. And France into second base with a double. It is 6-2 to two Seattle. Alvarez so close to making that catch. It's and sent one out of here. And that one in the left field, a base hit. Suarez with a single. And France, the throw to the plate. He is going to be out. What a throw by Alvarez. France not blessed with great speed. And Alvarez cuts him down. Full arsenal in his bullpen. It's going to be the worst start of the year. It's Gurriel. Man, he's going to watch this one fly. This one not coming back. A booming home run by Yuli Gurriel. Six to three Mariners. As Gurriel starts the fourth inning with a long ball. Hundred off the bat, you see, got the train moving here. I will tell you this: the Mariners have played these guys enough, 19 times, to know the offense and the power. And that's the reason. Six through nine, Guriel got to enjoy that one all the way around. That was a no. The manager's not afraid to mix it up. Players oblige. That ball's hit well into left field. Alvarez looks up, and this ball is gone. And Eugenio Suarez goes deep. And the Mariners add on here in the seventh inning. It is seven to three as Suarez pops a home run. Right into the Crawford box is a guy that likes. Look, he's out front, but he's so strong. He stayed back enough and hit in the boxes. Hey, Eugenio Suarez. I think you're right. His alter ego, the alter ego is still in play. That ball's hit down the left field line. Alvarez able to run it down. A little snow cone at the end of that. But Alvarez makes a catch. A little soft liner by Hanniger. Hey, Eugenio Suarez takes one deep. Alvarez makes the play to end the inning, but the Mariners up 7-3 to three now at stretch time in Houston. Two balls and a strike. And Bregman sends one deep in the left center field. This is way back, and it is gone! Alex Bregman gets the Astros off the deck. A two-run blast makes it a two-run game. Look where that was. Ooh. Right down the middle. Bregman gets it out front and clips him. Look, Bregman won the Silver Slugger in 2019. As I said, it's the first year in three years he's been healthy. And he is built for the big moments. He's had so many in the postseason. No doubter left. 3 2 pitch to Rodriguez. And a drive into right center. Well hit. Tucker is back. He leaps and makes the catch. Oh, what a play. Kyle Tucker turns in a defensive gem. Over by their bullpen. And the hard thing here is you just you, you don't know exactly where the wall is. A lot of times outfielders be able with two outs in the ninth and the one two pitch 
And a swing and a line drive up the middle base hit. Pena delivers. A two out. In to try to close it on a Tuesday. Alvarez launches deep right field. And this one is gone. And the Astros walk him off in game one. Jordan Alvarez. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he went with the fastball again after he fouled the first one. This one, middle, middle. And he knew it right when he hit it. That's a big man. We talked about it. only two guys with over 1,000 OPS. And that was him. There was one guy, I said, coming in, and you don't want to bring him up. A 438-foot homer into the second deck. And it sends the Astros into the win column in game one. Qué grande en ese primer piseo que estaba pensando cuando fuiste ahí arriba. Eh, nada, creo que quería quería pegar, hacer un buen contacto a la bola, creo que por eso estaba eh, haciendo el swing un poco duro y creo que estaba agresivo, estaba agresivo buscando ese picheo y me lo dejó en la zona. Yeah, not that. I think I was just going up there trying to make good contact on the ball and I just went up there being aggressive, just trying to be aggressive, make good contact. And the division round begins under light blue skies here in Atlanta. It is the Phillies and the Braves. Game one between these East Division rivals here at Truist Park. For Nick Castellanos, who swings at the first pitch and pumps it into right. That's down in front of Acuna. And three consecutive two out hits in the first inning have the Phillies on the board. And that's how quick it can happen, right? 0-2. Swatted to right. Four consecutive two-out hits. And a 2-0 lead for Philadelphia. Alec Baum drives in Bryce Harper. And they've gotten two against Freed in the first inning. On a 3-2, Contreras sits a ground ball towards the middle. Sosa to the back for one. On to first, a double play. And Ranger Suarez struggles to find it in the first inning, but then all reliable for one of the best ground ball men in baseball. A double play gets him out of it. Changeup is kind of the Achilles heel for him. Hits one in the air to left field. It sends Schwarber back. It is gone. That's what he likes to do. I mean, they went in. And that's now his 12th home run on inside part of the plate. This guy's having an amazing offensive year for the Atlanta Braves. Ball's going to jump today, Joe. Yeah. You could see some fireworks more than this. And Darno hit 18 during the regular season. Was an also want to go in. And you know what? They went in. And that's a pitcher that looks look at that replay and go, hey, wait a minute. I threw the ball where you asked me to throw it. Yeah. It just didn't get it back. Bit of slack when one of their teammates goes down. Superstar. Payoff. Bouncing ball. Freed is one back to back gold gloves. Throws high here and it's safe at first. Normally the game's best defensively on the mound. His high throw leads to a leadoff base runner. Little one away for Alec Bohm. Bohm hits a fly ball to center field for Harris. Real Muto tags up from third. Harris makes the grab. Throw heads home. It's cut off and it's 3 1. Alec Bohm drives in his second run of the game. And now Segura shoots one up the middle. Base hit center field. Castellanos comes home. Harris's throw. Not in time. And it's 4-1 Philadelphia. Gene Segura drives home Castellanos. Two in the first and now two in the third. Fruits of that next year for sure.
Castellanos getting his chance in the big stage and coming through with his third hit of the game. One run is in. Here comes another two-run single, Nick Castellanos. And the Phillies do it again with two out. They lead the Braves 6-1. Goes to right field, this time to left field. And I'm telling you, two out. That's backbreaker stuff in a series, especially the postseason, when you can get two out RBIs. One, two pitch. Sosa flies it to right center. Harris is over, plenty deep enough to get the job done. A leadoff double, a sacrifice bunt, and a sacrifice fly. And it's 7 1 Philadelphia. They hit into a double play. Darno down the line, a fair ball that'll drive in two. Darno has knocked in all three runs for Atlanta. A 7 3 game as he doubles home a pair. Two and two, Olsen trying to get the tying run to the plate. Fly ball center field, sends Marsh back onto the track at the wall. It's gone! It's not over yet! Three run shot! swing you're ever going to see for a ball to go over straightaway center. I mean, when it was first hit, I thought, okay, that's a sack fly. But the way Acuna looked at it, the way Matt Olson looked at it, and of course the fever pitch of which Marsh went after that ball. Pokes it to right. On comes Castellanos. He lays out. And makes the catch. In game one of the division series, the Phillies have two sacrifice flies. They have two sacrifice bunts. And they just got a diving catch from Nick Castellanos. Turning the world upside down. Oh, this is a huge play. You look at double, maybe more if that ball gets by Castellanos. What a defensive play at the most crucial time. Last chance for Atlanta. Bouncing ball to short. Picked up by Sosa. That's the ball game. The Phillies hang on and win game one 7-6. Well, here we go. A beautiful October night in New York as we welcome you from Manhattan to the Bronx and the Yankee Stadium for game one of this division series matchup between the Yankees and the Cleveland Guardians. After watching the scintillating bottom of the ninth in Houston and the Jordan Alvarez home run to win it, I'm not exactly sure what we can do for an encore, but we will get... The runner goes, swing and a miss, throw down from Trevino. Can't be handled. And that marred a number of otherwise good outings. Two strikeouts in the inning. Rosario's the team he grew up rooting for. Called strike three. So Quantrill gets the better of him to start the Yankee first. Two strikeouts right away for Quantrill. Struck him out. They'll have to throw to first. Rizzo has to scoop it. Turned out to be a bit more difficult than you might have guessed. But that. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two strikeouts in each of the first two frames for Cole. After one and a half, no score. Sounds like you're looking forward to that. I sort of am. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So that's the third strikeout for Quantrill, who's not really known as a high strikeout guy. Popped out to try and calm the crowd. 2-0 pitch, high fly ball, deep right field, off the bat of Quan, judge to the wall, and it's gone. And it's the Guardians who get on the board first. And once again, the home run ball bites Garrett Cole for the ninth consecutive start.
he yields at least one home run. Remember Quan and fastball middle middle and that has been the issue for Cole. It's 97 plus. Another look. So one team since then has changed its name. The other team has twice changed its location. And Bader may change the scoreboard. This is into the seats. Harrison Bader. Former Cardinal applauded by another former Cardinal, Matt Carpenter. Even up at one. Local kid went to Horace Mann in Bronxville. New York comes back and delivers in the postseason. Got the count in his favor and got a fastball. Hey, great at bat, bro. Great at bat. First pitch of the fourth inning to the DH, Will Brennan. Chases Cabrera into the corner and he comes away with the catch. <laughs> the fan. Second Yankee catcher. Here's the play by Donaldson. Skids into foul territory. Fires from there and gets it. Austin Hedges retired on a terrific play by Josh Donaldson. So two women. An uptick in their defensive play. Beautiful play by Donaldson. Knew he had enough time to get up and fire a strike to first base. Good range for the veteran. Duly noted Ernie. Josh Donaldson hits one in the air to right. Gonzalez goes back on the track at the wall. And it's off the top of the wall, it would appear. Or let's see. Donaldson doesn't know. He started to trot, and he's going to be retired. He thought the ball left the park. So did a good portion of the crowd. Off the very top of the wall. The kind of ball that could bound either way. That's right. Could have bounded out for a homer. Came back. Donaldson went into a trot. Could have made second base if he just put his head down and ran. 2-2 pitch to Kiner Falefa. That is a fair ball down the right field line. He rounds first. Sprints for second. Gonzalez has trouble with it. Now around second heading for third and makes it without a play. His 0-2 pitch in the air to center field. It's going to get the run home. Straw runs it down. Trotting to the plate is Kiner Falefa. And the Yankees take a 2-1 lead. A high drive to right. Back goes Gonzalez to the wall. It's out of here. Spike Lee loving it. Yankee dugout loving it. Sellout crowd loving it. Quantrill not so much. 4-1 New York. Just left it over the middle of the plate. And that ball up that was getting by Rizzo all night long in his third time looking at Quantro. He didn't miss it. In the air to center field. Straw is retired, and that is the last straw tonight for the Guardians. Rizzo had a big game with the glove and with the bat. Cole has been better at various times, but he was generally effective. And he's been a thrilling day of game ones all day long, and we've got the final on this afternoon into evening in Los Angeles.
And it's a true divisional matchup in this NLDS. It's the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers in this series set as these two teams separated by just 130 miles and a lot of history. And Turner lifts one to deep left field. Ranging back is Profar, and it's a 1-0 start for the Dodgers. Gets the crowd excited. This isn't a terrible pitch. It's in. It just doesn't get in enough. It's trying to get there. Trey Turner just beats it to the spot. And again, we talked about Arias giving him against Muncie. On the ground, punch to the left side, base hit. Here comes Will Smith to make it a 2 0 LA lead in the first. Smith ropes one towards left center field. Profar on the move to try to get there. He can't. Turner is going to score. Smith on his way to second, and it's a 3 0 Dodger lead in game one. <laughs> 2 2 delivery to Lux. Rope down the right field line towards the corner and down a fair ball. Will Smith will score. Lux has a double. Holding up at third, Muncie, and it's 4 0 Los Angeles. One two pitch. Breaking ball, kind of golfed on the ground towards first, knocked down by Myers, and a run will score. It is 5 0 Dodgers in the third. Set deep to left field. Ranging back is Thompson towards the wall. He leaps, and it's just over the glove and gone. Will Myers gets the Padres on the board with a home run here in the fifth. Number nine, Jake Kroger. Like Trace Thompson ran into the wall. He could have got it. I mean, it hit the fan, but it didn't feel like there was any reach over the wall per se, but uh, uh, that's close. That might put his faith in Trent Grisham. Hoping for something here. Puts the ball in play. Cronenworth on his way home to score, and it's an RBI ground out for Trent Grisham, and it's a 5-2 ball game here in the fifth. And it had to take over. In the air to left, might be deep enough. Thompson coming on, makes the catch, off from third, Kim. Here comes the play at the play, and he is safe. Padres get another run back. And Kim, worse for the wear after he went sliding into home plate. But he comes, another one, too. Hard hit ball towards second, gloved by Lux, flips it to Turner, relay to first, it is in time, and the inning is over. during the campaign. Time run at the plate. And Kim skies one into left field. Thompson coming on. Dying in the rain. And it's out number three in the ninth for a game one Dodger win in this NLDS. We've been waiting all year for the postseason. We've been waiting all day for game two of the division series. A three-hour rain delay, but it's cleared up. And the Phillies and Braves are ready to get going with the second game. 0-2. Oh, Got him. What a first inning for Kyle Wright. Got him. Went up with a fastball. He'll swing over the top of it. Like that. Is down and swings over the top. Stuck with it and got him on three pitches. A 2 2 to Kyle Schwarber. Got him on the outside corner as the home plate umpire Nick Lentz went a few inches off there.
3-2. Drops it in to get him looking. Kyle Wright gets in on him. Bloop shot. Shadow left center. Falling. Who wants it? Swanson! Oh, baby! Bensby Swanson, what a catch! Wow. Swanson, six scoreless for Kyle Wright. Second, Swanson's at first. A one-two to Matt Olson. Ground ball to first, it gets by Hoskins. The Braves take the lead. Magic here in the sixth. The 2-0 pitch to Riley is bounced gently. Won't be easy. Wheeler's got to be perfect, and he's got no play. Braves put the ball in play, and good things are happening. The home run happy Braves put it in play and leading 2-0. Be back here in Atlanta on Sunday. Another 2-2 from Wheeler. Darno grounds one through base hit center field. Olsen comes in to score. The Braves getting it done with two out, and they lead 3-0. Change up, flipped in foul ground. Riley sprinting. Riley! Austin Riley! Wow! I thought we saw the play of the game earlier. This is now the play of the game. That left side of the infield doing big things going away tonight, aren't they? Move over the shoulder. He's got to avoid the tarp. That's unbelievable. Well, Austin Riley for years has been doing extra early work every day with Ron Washington. I don't think they work on that. I don't think they work on jumping out of the tarp and catching it and stunning the opposing hitter. On 2-2, Harper. Swings and misses, and this series is tied at a game apiece. <laughs> Phillies take game one, 7-6. The Braves respond with a 3-0 win in game two. Everything coming in that sixth inning. Five consecutive base runners. Only two base runners the rest of the game. Yeah, it's, it's going to be exciting. I, I don't know. Welcome everybody to a raucous Dodger Stadium for a crucial Game 2 of this 2022 National League Division Series between the San Diego Padres and the Los Angeles Dodgers. He goes deeper in the game, something he's done often this year. The 2-1. Machado rips it down the left field line towards the corner, and Manny Machado has given the Padres the early lead in the first. Just what the doctor ordered there, Adam. Just talked about them getting a the lead. We just talked about the success and the home runs he's hit. We also talked about Kershaw in, getting in. And he doesn't get this one in, and Manny Machado, that was a rocket. <laughs> Watching it on TV, let alone having to stand in the box and do it. And Freeman sends one to deep center field. Racing back is Grisham. At the track, at the wall, he leaps! And it is gone to tie the game! Another first inning home run in this series. It's one to one. Two outs in the bottom of the first. A couple of superstars against a couple of aces. Solo shots apiece. Game two, two to second, 1-1. One, one. This play appearance. And Muncy drills it to right field. In with Soto, now back to the track. Looks up, it's gone. Max Muncy goes yard of the postseason. And the Dodgers have taken the lead. Almost the same, a little bit higher actually. Sure. Than the, it was the curveball that he had already thought he struck him out on. He tried it again. 
Hits, he whacks it out to right field for a home run. Garbage can. Two one. Rounded towards third. It's past the diving Muncie. Kim will score to tie the game. A carom off the sidewall. Soto will cruise in the third. It's an RBI double for Machado, and it's two to two in the third with nobody out. They were aggressive early. Seven pitch coming to Cornenworth. It's bounced to the right side. Freeman backhands it. That will score a run to give the Padres the lead. Soto comes across, and it's 3-2. And Cornenworth dug in, battled, and drives in the go-ahead run. He's back out there against the top of the order. He's Turner rips one to deep left field. He's done it again. And this one ties the game yet again. Back and forth we go. Shot by a crew, but that is. If you had an encyclopedia, which a lot of people out there might not know what an encyclopedia is. If you search on Wikipedia, yes, the, the definition of a hanging slider was that pitch at short. <laughs> to Oda Myers. Ground ball towards short. Turner. Oh, Turner. He was trying to line up that force out to second or at least get one on a slow roller, but. That's going to end up being an error on Trey Turner. Other guy, shortstop or second baseman, be quick. Bouncing ball right side. That's through. Profar delivers as Grisham is on his way home. Betts is going to come up throwing, and it's cut off. The Padres take the lead, and Profar, his fifth RBI of the postseason, and it's 4-3 to three, San Diego in the sixth. Myers ends up at third, and a butt put down by Grisham. What a play by Gratterall! He gets the out at home! What a play by the Dodger pitcher for the second out of the sixth! Bunted to first base. Bunting it to third does nothing. It's like Will Myers reads that right. He's stuck at third, so he tries to take a chance, but just no chance and done. 0-2 to Nola. Hard hit to center field, ranging back Bellinger, twisting around, makes the catch! There is no defense for it. Lux will swing away, bounce to second, Cronenworth to Kim, to first! In time! Double play! And the Padres remain in front as Suarez gets them out of the jam! One one in the air to right. Mookie Betts turns around and watches that go for Cronenworth. And the Padres extend the lead in the eighth. It's five to three. <laughs> Angeles for Cronenworth. He gets a cutter down. He does not miss it. The way he reacted, I thought he thought it was going foul. But then you see the bat flip screaming at his dugout. The dugout loves it. The payoff pitch. In the air to right. Soto is there. And this series is even at a game apiece. The San Diego Padres tie up this National League Division Series with a nail-biting. What a scene it is here at Minute Maid Park. Once again, afternoon baseball, and it is game two of this division series. This yeah, you're sitting in that clubhouse. And it's the trade deadline coming up, and you find out. Tucker sends one high and deep to right field. He's watching this one fly. And Kyle Tucker puts the Astros on the board. A roof scraper.
Well, you see the 107 off the bat, 370. What I want to know, what was yeah, this is a slider that crept too far back over the plate. And just look at that. I mean, straight up, 6.7 seconds in the air. Golfed it. Yeah. First run that Castillo has allowed in his first two starts of the postseason went seven and third shot out against the Blue Jays and Tucker it's a 19 foot wall but it is close first ball swinging up the middle Altuve throwing a first and it's in time oh what a play I didn't think he had a chance this is one of the fastest players in the league Julio Rodriguez See what he has in mind. Three and two. Santana on the ground. Slow roller. Gloved well. Going, coming to the plate. Oh! Valdez throws it away. A run is in. Hanniger goes to third. And now going to get the run down. Santana between first and second. Altuve runs him down. Hanniger stays put. So it's the second out. Valdez E1. And the second out in the rundown, and a line drive to right down, a base hit. Dylan Moore on the first pitch delivers the Mariners in the lead. Played in big games. And that one's hit well, deep in the left field, and Alvarez has done it again! Oh my goodness! He has put the Astros in front! A two-run home run makes it 3-2 to two Houston. One. Alvarez punishes one deep to left field. Gets it goodbye. And the lands his Crawford boxes. Astros lead it. Three to two. Who's your daddy? He does it again. Bregman against Munoz. And he shoots one in the right field, a base hit. Hanniger got a good arm. He winds it up. Pena's on his way. And he is in there. Bregman comes through again. Four to two Astros. Presley deals. Crawford, a line drive out, and it's going to be a double play. Frazier in no man's land, nothing he could do. Presley fires, a swing and a miss. Maldonado blocks it. He'll throw it to first to secure it, and that's the ball game. The Astros win again. And they take a two games to none lead in this best of five division series. A win away from their sixth straight ALCS. And it is a beautiful 62 degree day. October baseball in the afternoon. It just feels right as we welcome you to ALDS game two from Yankee Stadium. The Gardner, the Guardians, they probably have a Gardner somewhere. They're going to take care of the turf. The Guardians and the Yankees from Yankee Stadium. Only six home runs, but had one on Tuesday night here at Yankee Stadium. Pushes a bunt to the right side, sprints for first, and it's a leadoff hit. Hope toward the hole and through for a base hit. Quan will stop at second base. Bunt single, opposite field single, two on, nobody out. And the 1-1 from Cortez. Caught by Rizzo, who'll step on the bag, and that is that. Just like that. A budding rally is cut short. A drive to deep right field. This ball is gone. And now Stanton is more than pleased that he didn't draw the walk. Soft liner, right fielder drops in front of Judge. Here comes Naylor around third. Judge fires toward the plate. It's high over Trevino's head. 
And the Guardians are on the board. It's a 2-1 game. And they have... What a play by Cortez. He writes himself, bounces it to Rizzo, and they get him. What a reaction here by Cortez. And from the seat of his pants, he gets the out at first base. Well hit to center. Bader goes back. He goes way back to the track, to the wall, and it's in the bullpen to tie the game. Ahmed Rosario. Who hit 11 round trippers during the regular season. Goes deep off Cortez, and it's a tie game in the fifth. Foreseen fastball, supposed to be in, catches the middle of the plate. And Rosario, who's not a home run hitter. Sounded good off the bat. Beta was playing pretty shallow, and it just kept carrying and into the bullpen. Pop up left side, coming in Cabrera, going out Donaldson, and it's going to drop. Ramirez sprints to second. They throw it away. He's on his way to third, and he dives in there. As Mel Allen might say, how about that? <laughs> McCleveland Indian then, Corey Kluber. The one-two pitch. Another little bloop, and this could be trouble. It will drop, and the Guardians have the lead. Hits by Gonzalez. Good, nasty breaking pitch from Tyone. Puts the ball in play. We said that these Guardians were going to do that. They've done it all season long. Never know what happens when you put it in play, and no way for Rizzo to get to it. Gonzalez runs again on the 3-2 pitch, which is whacked into right center field. On the run is Bader. It's over his head. And one hop against the wall. Gonzalez being waved home. And just as you said, Ron, they will add more. A couple of bloops started this rally. That was a blast. A bouncer. Charging is Jimenez. He flips to first. Ball game. The Guardians earned this one. They come out of the Bronx with a split. So far in this postseason, Cleveland's bullpen against the Rays and the Yankees has logged 17 and two-thirds scoreless innings. Postseason baseball is back in Philadelphia. For the first time in 11 years, Citizens Bank Park plays home to the postseason. The Braves and the Phillies. Game three of the division series after the team split the two games in Atlanta. The scene shifts to a raucous Philadelphia. On the ninth pitch, that comes through. The Phillies take the lead. What a bad from Bryson Stott. one nothing Philadelphia. Fastball hit to left. It is long gone. to set this place on fire ambushing the first pitch from Spencer Schrider. I mean that was his game plan you got to think getting in the box seeing something over the middle and letting it go and boy he let it go when he broke into this league that left field seemed super short for Hoskins and a true professional has been through everything and he was probably having a rough I don't know 24 hours after that game well this kind of makes up for it.
as Dylan Lee comes in to face Bryce Harper. 4-0 on the Hoskins homer. Now Harper sends one in the air. Way back to right center. That one's gone. This place explodes. Out a pitch they wanted to hit and they didn't miss it. Center cut, shorter porch, doesn't matter with Harper. And just like that, it is six to nothing on a leadoff walk. A wild throw. And then five straight hits on five straight pitches. Or hit to a young pitcher, not to, to Nola. Bounced over first, and the Braves do take advantage. Michael Harris's first hit in the postseason is an RBI single to score Dansby Swanson, and it's 6-1. One batter after the air on Hoskins. Harper to center. Harris back. Onto the track. At the wall. Can't get it. Harper into second with an RBI double and it's 7 1 Phillies. Six for 11. Castellanos will drive home two more. Game three has turned into a rout. 9 1 Philadelphia. What a night in Philadelphia. Sixteen years since the last time these home fans in San Diego saw a playoff game and their team has come back to Petco Park tied at a game apiece in this National League Division Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres in a crucial game three in this NLDS. The 29-year-old from Seattle comes home and bets with a hard hit grounder into center field for a base hit. Starts the game off with a single against Blake Snell. 2-2 again. One away. Turner struck out in between. A 2 2. Call, strike three. Another perfectly placed fastball for out number two. One, two. Did he go? He did. Inning over. Payoff. Runners go. And a flare into center field will get down for a base hit. Soto will score, and Jake Cronenworth gives the Padres the 1-0 lead in Game 3. This is the split. He gets it up. First career hit for Cronenworth off Gonsolin. He was 0 for 10, now he's 1 for 11. But you see how excited he is. He did it exactly right. He sat on a split. It was up. Line is one of two runners left stranded by Andrew Heaney in that frame. Goes after the first pitch. Sends it to right. It's 2-0. You're leading off the inning. You're ready for a heater. He did not miss it. It's right off the bat. A little bat flip. Talking to his boys in the dugout. Just picture perfect. Beautiful sound. Beautiful swing. Into right field. Soto 
Angling back, stops, and has it on the track. But that's deep enough to score Thompson. On to third goes Barnes, and Mookie Betts, with his first RBI of the postseason, gets the Dodgers on the board and cuts the lead in half. Another 2-2. Two -two. He struck him out. Payoff pitch from Hayter to Thompson. He struck him out. Padres take game three. Football Saturday. We are here for game three of the American League Division Series. The Houston Astros up two games to none. And now the host team, the Seattle Mariners. And hi. Homer in game one had an RBI single in game two, and down he goes. A strikeout, the first for Kirby. Here, said this could be very good for George Kirby, and he would love to get some innings out of him. That's a little lazy fly ball. Flair's going to fall for Kyle Tucker. So Tucker, who homered in game two off of Castillo, Guriel, another hot hitter in this division series and he's on the first pitch a base hit in the left so back to back singles and the Astros have two men aboard here in the second inning with one out set up for a double play ball and the runners go and a swing and a miss thrown a third oh what a play by Suarez safe is the call another three two pitch Kirby delivers he got it. On their fourth hit of the game, back to the top of the order, third time through. It's Altuve. Breaks his bat. Little jam shot. And France is right there to make the catch. Oh, oh he tagged him for the out. It's a double play. Maldonado is saying he forced him off the bag. They're coming out to argue interference. Oh, yeah, look at that. See, his foot's not on. What a heads up play oh my. by Ty France. Two strikes. And he got him. A swing and a miss for the strikeout to end the inning. and Tucker aboard. First pitch to Guriel in the air, right center field, hit pretty well. Rodriguez on the run, and Rodriguez makes a great catch. Bregman will tag and go to third. Oh, my goodness. The ground he covered off. Watch Rodriguez right here. And then Man. gets it back in, knowing Bregman's going to tag to get to third, but Catches the all important second out. That was something. Julio Rodriguez. 3 2 pitch. In the air, deep left center field, hit well. Rodriguez on the run, and it is gone. Oh, Jeremy Pena sends one to the seats, and the Astros lead one to nothing in the 18th inning. This kid is the real deal himself. A spinner. He has a slider, sorry. Just right middle, middle. Oh, pulls those hands in beautifully. Cool. Jordan Alvarez. He swings at the first pitch. A line drive to left. Kelnick comes on. He dives. And he makes the catch. Oh, Jared Kelnick. Right. And puts it away. You bet. That makes it tough, too, B.A. Not that only it was hit hard. It's tailing away from him. He started going towards the gap more, and that thing kind of just sunk. And a great could end right here. Garcia deals. That ball's hit well to center, but right there. And Dubon puts it away, and the Houston Astros survive. They win one to nothing in 18 innings.
And they are headed to the American League Championship Series for an American League record sixth consecutive time. Jeremy Pena delivers the decisive blow. And the Astros are moving on once again. And we kept another raucous crowd in Philadelphia. Welcome to Citizens Bank Park. Welcome to game four of the National League Division Series. The Phillies on the brink of the NLCS after the 9-1 win in game three. On a 2-2 pitch. He lifts one in the air. Deep right field. There it goes. Marsh comes through. ball I mean it's on a tee right there for a guy who was late on fastballs he's early on that pitch and a huge huge blow for the Philadelphia Phillies put pressure on Charlie for two straight innings second inning cashed in they're one for 32 down there Arcia turns on it down the left field line that ball's gone Orlando Arcia with a solo shot the Braves on the board. It's 3 1. Well, they heard us. Yeah. Seven through nine hadn't done anything. And that's only their second hit, but that was a run produced really quickly. For a guy, for whatever reason, come postseason time, Arcia finds himself. Fastball in, he just tomahawks it. Got to pull your hands in, get the barrel of the bat to the ball, and keep it fair. And Arcia does. Yeah, you mentioned him finding it in the postseason. He's now played in 22 postseason games, so it's not a tiny sample. So a lot of the key pieces for Atlanta are good to go here. Fly to center field. Harris on the move. Still going. Michael Harris can't get there. And Rio Muto can run for days. JT on his way to third. He looks for it inside the Parker. And the catcher has won. what we're capable of doing. Brian, thank you. Back to you, Joe. All right, guys. Here's Matt Olson sending one in the air down the line. Deep to right. That one is gone. Olson's second home run of the series. And for the Braves, the second today. It's a 4-2 game. Or, yes, yeah, string it together or hit the ball out of the park. Brian Snicker will take either of those things. 4-2 in the fourth. Well, in these type of games in the postseason, right, you you wouldn't figure that teams are going to the bullpen as quick as they have, but the uh, that's just the sweet spot for Olsen. He loves inner half. He has a trouble with fastballs away. They were trying to go away. And this was a no doubt. Hey, you want to get rewarded with a run. Hoskins fights one off, short right, it's down! Segura comes home, Acuna can't find the ball, now he does, now it's 5-2. Reese Hoskins drives home Gene Segura. Somehow puts it in play, JT Rio Muto, an infield hit on a ball that was inches off the ground. Broken bat, base hit the other way. Here comes another. 7-2 Phillies. They're living a charmed life. On a two-on, Alec Baum pulls his hands in, but it's caught by Swanson. The Phillies with another big frame. They score three times in the sixth. To the late innings, we go in game four. That's 0 for 2. 
Goes after the first one, lifts it to center field. Marsh is going back. He's at the wall. It's gone. Leadoff home run, Travis Darno. The first pitch that Jose Alvarado's thrown in 32 minutes is hit out. And it's a 7-3 game on Darno's second home run of this series. Talking about what the Braves did last year. Harper the other way, down the left field line. Bryce Harper, exclamation! Two pitch again. One gone in the ninth inning. Sucked the life out of him. Two gone in the ninth inning. Dominguez tries one more time. Got him. This improbable run, this joyride continues for the Phillies to the National League Championship Series. A sellout crowd of 34,000 plus at Progressive Field roaring in anticipation of the first pitch of Game 3 of this American League Division Series between the New York Yankees and the Cleveland Guardians yesterday with their second extra inning win of this postseason the Guardians got out of the Bronx with a split and now this best of five series comes down to a best two out of three with games three and four scheduled right here in Cleveland. The one one pitch. It gets by Kiner Falefa and the Guardians are on the board. Had he fielded it a double play was possible instead one nothing Cleveland. That's another base hit. And the Guardians take a 2 nothing lead. Here's a drive to left center field and deep. And this ball is going to leave the yard. 62 in the regular season. His first one in the postseason. And just like that, it's a tie game. Well, it had to happen eventually. Big smile from Aaron Judge. Try to go up with that fastball and it's middle, middle of the plate. And just a bomb off the bat of Judge. The chugging Guardians offense doing everything they can to score there too. One swing of the bat by Judge and the game's tied. Times. A drive to deep right. And this ball puts the Yankees in front. Cabrera had a double in his first at bat. He unloads his first postseason home run here in the fifth. And the Yankees get off the mat and jump in front, four to two. Very good year, did give up 25 home runs this year. Cabrera knew it. Maybe that of energy. And he caught this one flush. The 1-1 pitch coming to Brennan. Line drive by Rizzo. It's an RBI hit. Jimenez scores. And Arias is on his way to third. Pinch hit RBI single by Will Brennan. The 2-1 pitch to Bader. is a high drive to deep left field. This ball is on its way. This ball is gone. Second home run of this series for Harrison Bader. 
And the Yankees reestablish a two-run lead. They led the majors with 254 home runs. They scored more than half of their total runs on homers. Every run in this game on a home run. Connected here. Missed with a couple of curveballs, had to come in with the fastball, and Bader didn't miss it. Strike to him. So again, it took three hits to get a run for the Guardians in the previous half inning, and one swing for the Yankees to get the extra run on the board. Miles Straw in the air to left. In comes Cabrera, and he won't get there. Kiner Falefa has to pick it up. Straw now, after hesitating, scoots to second, which is important only because it takes the force in the double playoff. That looks like a base hit. It drops in front of Cabrera. Guardians have something going now in the ninth out of the bullpen here in a clutch situation. There's a base hit. The tying run moves into scoring position. Straw, meanwhile, comes across to make it 5-4. to four. A little bloop on the infield, but it's going to drop for a base hit. The bases are loaded. Because of the way they had shifted over, what would have been in a normal alignment, an easy catch for the shortstop, is anything but. It drops on the dirt for a base hit that loads the bases. From the set, and the one-two. Hit up the middle, a base hit! The tying runner scored! Here comes Rosario with the winning run! And it's pandemonium at progressive field! What a bad pitch from Schmidt. Went out and drove that ball up the middle. And once it cleared and got the outfield grass, that's an easy two runs with Rosario on second base. No chance for Bader. What a game. You know, there's an old adage in sports. It's not necessarily who you play. It's when you play them over the course of the year, especially into September. Yankees were a much better team than the Guardians, but the Guardians were a really good team right now. Well, the Yankees. Welcome, everybody, to yet another raucous atmosphere at Petco Park in San Diego as we get set for game four of this National League Division Series. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres with San Diego in front, two games to one in this series. Patient. There's a 1-1. Bouncing ball right side. It's a fair ball past the first baseman, Myers. Betts is in. It's going to score two. Turner's right behind him. And Freddie Freeman strikes first for the Dodgers. It's 2 nothing L.A. Teams just get hot. Yep. 2-2 two -two to Soto. Hard hit ball. Into the shift. Nice sliding stop. In time to get Juan Soto. Excellent defense from the Dodgers yet again. All three base runners he has stranded so far. Towards the gap in right center field. Long run for Trace Thompson. He makes the catch. What a play by Thompson for out number one. Drury hits as he goes forever. And then it's full extension. Great, great play to keep the leadoff runner on, at least off second base, if not third. Two nothing Dodgers in the seventh. Hard hit to left field. Profar is back. That'll be deep enough. Betts will take off from third to make it three to nothing Los Angeles. A sack fly from Smith. 0-2. Bouncing ball right side off the glove of Freeman, and a run will score. The first for the Padres since the fourth inning yesterday. It's three to one. 
Freeman creeping all the way near the mound. Kim bounces it towards third. It's a fair ball! Grisham will score! On his way to third is Nola! Into second base, Kim! It's a one-run game in the seventh. Soto in the right field. This will tie the game. This is the reason they got Juan Soto for these huge at-bats, especially in the postseason. It's the one he's been waiting for. These Padres faithful have been waiting for. It's a 2-0 pitch. And rips it into right field. Nothing Mookie Betts can do. Gets it in as quick as possible. This place is an insane asylum, Adam. <laughs> two balls and two strikes. Corner to the center field. Padres take the lead. Kim is in. Here comes Soto. Off the mound. 5-3 Padres. Cronenworth to give the Padres the lead. As happy as he was, as much celebrating as he was doing to first, going to first. Great base running goes first, and he ends up at second base. But the Soto shuffle, normally in the batter's box, it got him an extra run as he shuffled to second. The throw hits the mound. He scores. 0-2 pitch. Check swing. He went around, went away. Strike away. Hater to Freeman. He struck it out for the first time in 24 years. The San Diego Padres are headed to the National League Championship Series. Seventh inning forever. And they remember the final out. To New York. This is the American League Division Series with Cleveland leading two games to one. It's the Yankees and the Guardians from Progressive Field in Cleveland, Ohio. Line to center, a base hit. Torres coming home. The throw will be not in time. Safe. Miles Straw got on it in center field. Good throw to the plate. Closer than you might have expected. But Torres is safe. I think they would have had. Here's another drive to deep left center field. And this one is gone. It may be a small sample. But I feel confident in saying that Harrison Bader owns Cal Quantrill. And it's 3-0 New York. Just jumping all over this first pitch. Cutter from Quantrill. Middle of the plate. Just a spinner. Look at the year, 44 doubles, 126 RBIs. Lifts a pop at a shallow left. Hicks coming in, Donaldson going out. He lunges and can't come up with it. And a run will score. Play it first, and Ramirez cannot get back. A rare base running mistake by Ramirez puts an end to the inning. But not before the Guardians get a run. And how many bloop hits into shallow left like that? Hits this one well in the gap in right center field. Judge watches it leave the yard. And Naylor's got his own home run dance. For the 10th consecutive start, regular season and postseason, 
Garrett Cole has given up at least one home run. And his 3-0 lead is down to 3-2. Naylor's home run measured at 405 feet. You're not going to hit a ball much harder than Naylor hit that ball there. Line drive, Ramirez knocks it down, picks it up, gets a force, and I don't know what Torres was doing, but it turns into a double play, and he didn't run hard. 0-1 to Stanton. A drive to left center field. This is going to change the scoreboard. Quan runs it down on the track. Judge tags. Rizzo will hold second. 4-2 Yankees. Rips it, and it's gloved by Arias. What a play. Morris covers, and Hicks is retired 3-1. to one. You know, we were talking about how Arias really hasn't mastered the footwork around first base. But he if he does, Garrett will have beaten Cleveland for the fourth time this year. And that is the outcome. After making all kinds of noise in the bottom of the ninth last night, and turning progressive field into a madhouse, the Guardians go quietly, and so too does the sellout crowd as they file out of the ballpark. Seven pitches for three outs there for Peralta. Afternoon, 56 degrees under sunny skies, a classic October postseason setting at Yankee Stadium. Welcome to Game 5, the deciding game between the Guardians and... A drive to right center field, back near the wall, and gone! So much power in that direction for Giancarlo Stanton. He had 31 during the season. This is his second of this series. And the Yankees jump on Savali in the first and take a 3-0 lead. Run he hit earlier in this series. A little cutter up in the strike zone. He has such long arms, so he has great plate coverage. That ball might be on the outside part, but just so strong. High fly ball, right field and deep. Back near the wall is Gonzalez. It's gone. Judge a better hitter as his career goes along. Never had to resort to pulling the ball to hit for power. It's just as 120 pitches in this series and has swung and missed only twice. A pop in a shallow left. Three Yankees converge and nobody catches it. It's a fair ball, by the way. Donaldson picks it up near the tarp. Hicks is down with one out and the base is loaded. The 2 2 pitch. A high fly ball to center field. Bader started in. Now he backpedals. He makes the catch. Hedges tags. So does Rosario. Make it Quan rather. Quan winds up at third. Hedges scores. Rosario holds first. Chopper to first. Rizzo has it. He'll race to the bag himself. He dives and gets there ahead of Jimenez. Cortez might have been a little slow getting off the mound. Rizzo quickly assessed the situation, said, I better take it myself. They both decided to slide. Jimenez feet first, Rizzo head first. Wait a second, might have been safe yeah. from that angle. But the a check on Torres and another 0-2 pitch. A little looper into right. It's going to drop for a base hit. Torres is being waved home. There'll be no play on him, and the Yankees go in front 5-1. to one. Straw is 0 for 3. At shortstop, Kiner Falefa. The flip to Torres. And the Yankees move on, and look at Torres mocking Naylor and the Guardians. Although perhaps it's only Naylor who deserves the mockery. Mimicking that rock the baby motion. 
And as you said, it's a celebration, but a subdued one. The Yankees have done what they were expected to do. And they've moved on against the Astros, who will try to go to the World Series for the fourth time in the last six years. And the Yankees will attempt to return to the World Series for the first time in 13 years since they were last there in 2009 and beat the Phillies to win it all. Tell you, friend. Relief and exultation, right? There you go. Signature move here. <laughs> Quite the punctuation to this series. Gone. 2 2 pitch. Fastball pull. Diving stop. Jay Cronenworth. The Crone Zone alive in the first inning of the championship series. Series. In an 0 2 hole. And down quickly as Darvish preyed on his aggressiveness. Bad scientist with a baseball. Deals another 3 2. And another version of a breaking ball gets ball. In a row, potentially. 2 2. Right down the middle to get him. Third K for Darvish. 1 2. Darvish getting things rolling, and he's got him guessing. 97 in there for strike three. Long fly ball. Darvish with fastballs gets ahead of one two and then finishes him off. He gets three K's in the inning, all on fastballs down the. Darvish shown with the two two. Rio Muto watches strike three. It's another fastball to get him looking. This one looked to be a little bit low, and that's Rio Muto's argument. Darvish comes home and the reigning MVP Bryce Harper lifts one the other way that sends Profar back. Is it too high or did he get enough? He got enough! Home run Harper! Phillies strike first! It was way up there, and when it came down, the Phillies found themselves with a 1-0 lead in game one. The to hit a ball out is just as good as his ability to hit the ball in, and it's almost like he's got that fall away approach swing, but he's so still a pretty flat swing for a high fastball, and he gets enough of it to where he's like, okay, maybe. And just enough here in this ballpark. Slow with breaking balls. That's how he's pitched tonight, backwards. And it is a breaking ball. Uh, Schwarber was ready. How far does this go? Second deck. Kyle Schwarber tees off. Uh, Two nothing Phillies. I, <laughs> that last at bat that he had when he got that single, it looked quick, short to the ball. It looked like it unlocked something, and he sat on it and crushed it. 119, 120 miles per hour off of the bat. That's one of the hardest hit balls in baseball this year. Watch where the barrel is. Bam! I mean, so quick and explosive that it didn't take much to get this ball. I mean, I, I, if you got a ticket, you're not thinking there's any chance you're getting a ball. Up there. No, you didn't bring your glove. No. Here we go. Juan Soto. Chops one left side. Bump the second one. Wide throw. The Phillies defense unravels. Because of the shift, that plate. Two gone ninth inning. One two pitch. Got him. Take game one. They survive game one. And the much anticipated rematch between the New York Yankees, winners of the American League East, just survived the Cleveland Guardians yesterday in five. And the best record in the American League, the Houston Astros. The 1 0. Bregman drives one into right center. And that is going to be caught. What a play by Judge. Oh, my goodness. Aaron Judge with some closing speed. What a great play that was. Wow. I, I didn't think he had a chance at this from our angle. But Judge with great speed for a big guy. And look at that reach. 
was able to make a play. That... See what he has in mind here. Two balls, two strikes. And Bader sends one deep in the left field. Way back and goodbye. Oh, he almost hit it off the railroad track. Harrison Bader on a serious heater right now. His fourth home run of the postseason. And the Yankees strike first, one nothing. With a single hanging, breaking ball, and Bader doesn't miss. Yeah, see that pitch, if it starts down the middle off the plate, it's either ground out or swing and miss. This one starts on the inner half. And when Bader's hot like this, you're not going to miss that pitch. When you sit undergoing, but could come up. As Maldonado stings one into right field, Judge on the run. And that ball is off the base of the wall. McCormick off of the crack of the bat. He'll score easily. And the Astros have tied it. Martin Maldonado with an RBI double. And across his last 10 games, 0-2 pitch. Down he goes. Verlander upstairs with a 98-mile-an-hour fastball. That's for the Yankees. We're in the third. Verlander deals a 3-2. And a cold strike three. Another 0-2. And he got him. Buckled him. Big curveball from Verlander. Up following the ALCS of 2019 as Verlander wipes him out back to back K's between these two organizations still because of that scandal in 2017 as Verlander has found it. Got a chance at another strikeout the one two and there it is. Justin Verlander has just matched his check. The 0 2 and a swing and a miss he got him. Verlander with strikeout number nine. Matt Carpenter is on deck and a strikeout as Donaldson full count two outs Verlander deals and a swing and a miss he got him Verlander pumps his fist 11 straight which would probably indicate he's out now Guriel to the Crawford boxes and the Astros have the lead two to one Hundred and eight off the bat. Oh ball. Mm. Baseball can change so quickly. The old one slider, the Guriel, one of the worst swings you'll ever matter. Driving to right, well hit. Judge on the run. And Chaz McCormick. Opposite field home run. Three to one, Houston. Gives the Astros a three to one lead in the sixth inning. Another location. Trying to go in with that sinker, misses out over the plate. And McCormick does a beautiful job of driving it to right center. Pitched in a big league game since September 16th. Pena lifts Whoa. one in the air, deep left field, and Jeremy Pena sends one out of here. Get yourself on for Alvarez. He's taking it to another level. Just a spinner in the middle of the plate, Frenchie. And again, when you're seeing the ball the way. Teachers have set down 16 in a row right now. And Rizzo sends it high and deep to right. That is back. Tucker out of room. And it is gone. Anthony Rizzo gets the Yankees off the deck. Two out, two strikes, solo home run. Makes it four to two, Houston. 
And Rizzo gives the Yankees some life here in the eighth inning. A professional AB. Foul 4 2 Astros. Presley deals off the end of the bat. Altuve hits the bag. He makes the play in time, and the ball game is over. Ryan Presley delivers with a four out save. Three strikeouts. The Yankees struck out 17 times yeah. tonight. And when you think about this series, they're going to hit the long ball, but they're going to have to find a way to get a couple guys on before they do that. All right, Kevin, 45,000 strong trying to root these Padres back into this series after the Phillies took game one, 2 nothing last night. We're set for game two of the National League Championship Series on a picture perfect day at Petco Park. A series that has not seen any. Rio Muto serves one into center. Grisham lays out in a hat trick in the first inning for Trent Grisham. A couple easy pops and then a diving play and a 1 2 3 first for Blake Snell. Swings away, another blooper, base hit right center field. And on three singles, the Phillies take the lead. Castellano safe at third. Throw gets by, allowing Bone to take second. It's free. Veerling sends the first one in the air to deep right field. Soto's back on it. He lost it in the sun. It opens the door for a run to come in to score. And Veerling to get the second with a sun-aided double. On. Snell's 1-1. One -one. Here's another bloop shot in the left that's in front of Profar. And the Phillies lead 3-0, dinking and doinking their way to the big inning. And go on movement. Sosa over there first, one of the fastest runners in the league. He's not going. It's a ground to the first. Drury knocks it down and gets just one. Going to have a shot at the double play there. Instead, a run comes through the back door. That is one for 15 in the postseason. Corks this one down the line, hooking to the corner and gone. Lightning in a bottle from Bob Melvin, and it strikes right away. 4-1 game. Jury gets the Padres on the board. <laughs> right on cue, right? I mean, uh -huh. that's what they were hoping for, and he hit it in the perfect spot. I don't think this is a home run in many ballparks. The reason is there's a low left field fence about went off for the San Diego Padres. I mean, it was a close game yesterday. And now Josh Bell sends one in the air down the line to right. If it's fair, it's gone. It's a fair ball. Back to back bombs. Bang, and it's 4 2. about watch how quick this ball leaves the ballpark and watch how inches over the lower part of the wall it's cut down in this left field watch how close that is and if it's the I don't know four or five feet over to the right it's a double and then the second homer is just a majestic I mean right over the foul pole from our view and this one got the energy back in the crowd I, about as fast as you can Playing in the championship series. One of them headed to the World Series. There goes Kim. And a base hit to right center. Kim is headed home. Austin Nola gets his little bro. 4 3 game. That's for the target set. 0 oh, 2. He rips it down the line towards the corner. It's a fair ball. Juan Soto has his moment. Tying running to score. They've come all the way back. The pitch. That is inner half. And he just pulls his hands in, gets the barrel of the bat, and somehow keeps it fair from hooking. I mean, that is an incredible at bat on a great pitch. And now, Padres.
Got action. The 3 2 pitch to Brendan Drury. In the center field, it's down. The Padres have turned this game upside down. They lead 6 4. Forty-five thousand inside here. Another two-zero. -oh. Bell shoots one to right. It's been an avalanche of noise and an avalanche of runs for the Padres. Seven straight. Seven-four. Machado lifts the ball to left center field. Way back there. Goodbye. Home run, Manny Machado. 8-4 San Diego. Third of the postseason for Machado. Third of the day for the Padres. And yeah, no hitting speed if it's thrown incorrectly. And Robertson throws a lot of spinning, breaking balls slash cutters. Schwarber didn't move much. He knew as soon as the ball was hit off the bat. See how that ball stayed in the zone. Reese Hoskins first pitch from Robert Suarez unloads an ambush home run. Robert Suarez had not allowed a run in this ballpark all year. Hoskins was ready for the first thing that he served and it's an 8-5 game. That was a right handed wow to the left handed Schwarber. An absolute. Crush. Here it comes. Harper bounces one the other way. Machado gets in front of it. The second one on the first. What a double play! It looked relatively easy, and he made that play, which had a high. 2 2. One gone. 100. again. Josh Hader better than ever. Two gone in the ninth. This series is tied at a game apiece. Phillies take game one 2 nothing. The Padres bounce back in ridiculous fashion. They score eight runs after they get shut out on one hit. Eight runs on 13 hits and an 8-5 win in game two. Series, it is presented by Lone Depot. Astros winning yesterday. Now the Yankees, can they even the series up as they head to the Bronx or to the Astros? Change up that he throws a quarter of the time. Next pitch to Altuve on the ground and it's gloved and the throw across is in time. Boy, what a play. This is going to be a big story tonight for the a way to relax into this game. Now you make a great play like that. Remember last night he had a play and he kind of short on. He's got two on at the corners here in the third and Bregman no. sends one deep to left. It is back and it is gone. A free run poke. Alex Bregman puts the Strohs on the board in the third inning. Thing in the Crawford boxes. Look at that short, compact. He has short a stroke as anyone in the game. And if you're going to go in, you got to go in off the plate. Nice. At the right time. Choking up on the bat. And a little rollover ground ball. That is going to get a run home. Guriel will go to the bag. Also sends Stan to third base. So you score one, you advance one. And the to hit one out of the stadium. 0-2 pitch on the ground. That'll get it done. Tough play. Pena on the throw to first. Not in time. And it's an infield hit and an RBI. Torres did shorten up a little bit that time. Put the curveball in play. And 
six or more innings, three or fewer runs. Yeah, that one's off the glove of Bregman, right to Pena, throw to first, in time! How about a 5 6 3? Right place, right time. One ball, one strike. A line shot. Oh, oh, what a pick! Flip to the bag, throw to first, another oh. pick! Pick City! My goodness! Glaber Torres, a sensational play. One and two now. There he goes. The pitch. Did he go? He did! It's a swing and a miss and a strikeout. And the ball game is over. The Astros win. And the Astros take a 2-0 advantage in this best of seven ALCS. All right, Kevin, let's do it then. Game three of the National League Championship Series set to begin from raucous Citizens Bank Park. The scene shifts from San Diego here to Philly with a series tied at a game apiece. Three two pitch in the air to right center field. Back it goes. Lead off home run. This cutting action and it almost becomes more of a BP fastball when it's not in the right spot. He was intending to make that in the inner part of the strike zone so he could almost jam him and it went right down the middle and fed to what we talked about. Cutters and sliders give up. There goes Cronenworth. A fly ball to center field. Marsh on the move. Brandon Marsh will get there on the warning track. Back to first goes Cronenworth. Grisham on the ground, diving stop, Gene Segura, he's still got it. Now the veteran on the infield with a sprawling play for the first out. Total robbery. Opened up the glove, got it square in the webbing. Easy throw. The all-star Cronenworth bounces one to short. Stock goes to second one, and Segura drops the ball. They say that he dropped it on the transfer. Either way, the run scores, and the game is tied. I tell you, it's a tough call. They always are lenient towards the ball being in the glove and making the transfer. We're going to get a chance. Third, one-two count. One-two. Breaking ball. He fights it off. Base hit right center. Gene Segura delivers. Phillies take the lead. What a piece of hitting. Two outs by the changeup double by Bryson. Segura does his own version. But Stott graduated from it, and he's been awesome. Here is Hassan Kim. Grounds one left side to Stott. Grisham's going to come in to score. A result of the bad Phillies defense, and it's 3 2. So the two bays. Aggressive again, line drive, base hit, and he gets to the wall. Phillies take a 4-2 lead as Bone drives in Castellanos, a two-out burst. Go far at first, 3-1, Kim bounces one, right side, Gene Segura, roller coaster night continues. He's at the top of the mountain right now. Dumps throughout this game that have been one way or the other noteworthy. Well, you know why that's so huge is because Soto's on deck, right? That becomes first and third or first and second. Soto's on deck. You don't know what's going to happen. Huge momentum switch. Yes, it has been an eight. One, two. Phillies take game three.
Houston Astros, the best record in the American League. The Yankees, the second best record in the AL. Right now, Houston with two home wins, a 2 0 advantage in this bet. <laughs> Data's going to need that mouthpiece. Contact sport out there with Judge and Stanton. McCormick goes down the right field line. That ball's hit well. It is up and out. It hits the top of the wall. Chaz McCormick, a two run home run. Lightning in a bottle. The Astros center fielder has come to play here in the postseason. Two to nothing Strohs in the second inning. For a potential World Series matchup. Oswaldo Cabrera hits oh. a shot and Pena with a backhanded stab. Caught it in the air, a line drive out. Oswaldo Cabrera smoked by Cabrera. Just picked it right off the infield dirt to the backhand. Not an easy play. Well, Pena, guys, 15 defensive runs saved during the regular season first. <laughs> 2-2 two pitch. In the air to left center field. Stanton easing back. He's got it. That'll be deep enough to score Bregman. And all three runners tag in advance. And the Astros add to their lead. 3-0 Houston on a sacrifice fly from Trey Mancini. It would call for it here. And he lets it fly and he lines one into the gap left center. That's down a base hit. Coming in to score is Tucker right behind him. Guriel. He slides it head first. Two runs are in on a single from Christian Vasquez. Stan, a uh, hard ground ball diving Altuve to his feet. And it's in time. Excellent play, Jose Altuve. Stan retired. 0 oh, 2 pitch. And he goes. A swing and a miss. A strikeout for Abreu. And the Houston Astros win again. 6 0 in the postseason. And a 3 0 advantage in the ALCS. They are a win away from the World Series. Javier, terrific. He's the winner. He beats Garrett Cole. Second shutout of the postseason for Houston. All right, boys, it's rocking again at the bank for game four of the National League Championship Series. The Padres and the Phillies. The Phillies two wins away from the World Series. Swings at the first pitch, lofts one to left field. Kyle Schwarber turns around, watches it go. Manny Machado attacks the first pitch and puts the Padres in front. For so much of this season, he's put the Padres on his back. In the losses in the postseason, one for 16. When he's hit, they've won. And aggressive early was he and didn't miss it. And you see perfect spot. The hitters have a chance to be successful early. He knew it. Schwarber knew it, even though he deked us. Looked like he was going to catch that fly ball. Yeah. In their lineup right now, Drury. He got a fastball. He shot it to right center field. Castellanos won't get there. Brendan Drury comes through. He knocks home two. And the Padres once again have gotten off of the deck. One game after getting shut down, they've got three in the first. His one two to Kim. In the left center field, another two out base hit for the Padres. Yeah, and they've yeah, scored yeah, four yeah, runs yeah, in the first. Yeah. Yeah. Another yeah. big inning for the Padres. Boy, it truly has been all or nothing for this offense. Throughout this point. Billy's looking for a quick response. Hoskins handles the ball. Left center field. Reese Hoskins redemption again. for him themselves because of what he's been through mentally and that right there will help and it'll go a long way look yesterday's mistake didn't cost the game 
but it's been a kind of an ongoing situation that feels really good right now. With the chance raining down in the two-timer, Harper rips the ball to right center field. That'll split the gap and short hop the wall. Punch, counter punch. What a start to this game. 4-3 in the blink of an eye. In. Reach that spot of the order here, and Stott's got a base hit to left. The Phillies have come all the way back, and they've not waited to do so. On the second stop, he's out. An assist from Profar. But it's 4-4 in the fourth. Ends 2-1. Curve right. is lifted in the air to right field. Yes. Juan Soto with his first bomb of the postseason. There it was, and the Padres are back in front. Town has seen it too many times, and a great hitter like Soto, eventually one's going to be in the zone, and it's a recipe for disaster, and it came back to bite Brad Hand. Padres six, Phillies four. Juan Soto goes deep. This ball was hit quick. I looked at Castellanos. He didn't really move. Now watch this. That is as smooth as it gets. Unfortunately, the fans here didn't think much of it. Represents the tying run here in the fifth on a 1 1 from Manaya. He cracks one in the air. Watch the swing. Watch how level the bat is. And that's the part of the field that he has dominated this park when he's hit home runs. Perfect timing. Bat to ball. Gone. There goes the runner. Harper slashes a base hit to left center. How fast can we have Mute? What a ride in game four! Let's go! A thousand strong on the south side of Philly. All loving it with their team two wins away from a pennant. Here's it second for Castellanos. Up the middle. Off the bag and in the center! Everything coming up, Phillies! They lead 8-6. On 2-1, in the air to center field, way back there, straight away and long gone, monster shot, Kyle Schwarber. In this bullpen game, already going to be doing that a little bit. Real Muto turns on a ball, kissing goodbye. Ten runs for the Phils. Four home runs for the Phillies tonight, all coming from the top three in the lineup. Rotation, even with Nola giving up the six runs in game two, has a 2.25 ERA. The bullpen has locked things down beyond there, and would you believe it, the Philadelphia Phillies are a win away from a National League pennant. They win game four with the largest comeback in franchise history in the postseason, matching the 2010 Division Series and the 1980 World Series from down.
Philadelphia as we welcome you to the 2022 National League Championship Series on FS1 presented by Lone Depot. Down there in that cold air and that light rain is Ken Rose. A green light and a shot. Reese Hoskins owning October. Two nothing falls. Nobody on, then a walk, and then a 3-0 missile. Playoff formula, you, it's not easy to get three outs. And you gotta grind those in the zone. Soto bounced out his first time. He hits one in the air, deep right center field. One Soto watches it fly. Padres on the board as Soto goes deep for the second consecutive game. So the first base runner of the day for San Diego is also the first run. Soto with a no-doubter, 2-1 in the fourth. Well, he got a mistake, and he did not miss it. Just hoping that the next guy in has his command, has his stuff. Bell with a base hit to right field. The Padres have tied the game in the seventh. Come on his way to second. Castillo is thrown out in time. Oh, no. It's 2-2. And still nobody out with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Well, that was a 2-2. It's another wild pitch. And his own car scores the go-ahead run. Padres three, Phillies two. Two wild pitches in one at bat. <laughs> You. On the seventh pitch, Harper hits one in the air, left center field, back it goes, Harper, the swing of his life! And this is what I was talking about. He can go the other way. The ball was not up. The ball was out over the plate. He's strong enough. He's done it before. He inked a long deal. Decade into his major league career. He's done what seemed impossible. He's fulfilled the hype. The hype that exceeded just about that of any other player that's ever played this game. Started out as a prodigy with those impossible expectations. On a 3-1 pitch, Brandon Drury takes ball four, and the Padres have the tying run aboard. David Robertson, another 3-2. Ball four, tying run into scoring position, and the go-ahead run aboard. How long does Rob Thompson wait to go to Ranger Suarez? It's up to Austin Nola. Suarez fires. Pop fly. Right field, Segura's out, Castellanos in, and the Philadelphia Phillies are going to the World Series! Really no stress. That's the best way to end it. Two thousand twenty-two American League Championship Series. It is presented by Lone Depot. The Houston Astros, a team with the best record of the American League. They're up three games to none over the New York Yankees. Astros a win away from a trip to the World Series and a date with the Philadelphia Phillies. Yankee. 
Three and one. And that ball's hit hard in the right field. A base hit. Coming around to score is Bader. On his way to third goes Rizzo. And the Yankees strike first in game four. RBI single for Giancarlo Stanton. And it's one nothing New York. Two balls, no strikes. Torres lifts it in the air. Shallow center field. Long run. That's oh. going to fall. The wind really knocked it down. And good base running by Stan to get to second base. There was a force play there. Scored the run Rizzo. It's going to be a... McCullers. And that's a base hit. In the left field it goes. Kaida Falefa will score. Rizzo on his way to second. Throws off the mark. It's an RBI double. Three nothing Yankees. Hitters count. Pena three and one. And he swings and lifts one in the air deep to left field. He'll watch it fly. Jeremy Pena. One swing of the bat. And the Astros tie it at three. Pena's third home run after Jeremy Pena launches a three run game tying homer in the third inning. Still nobody out. Season. The 1 1. Bouncing ball right side through a base hit. What run producers do, they find a way. The Astros take the lead as Yuli Guriel. Just plays a little pepper with one to right field. Tying run at second base. One and one. Rizzo. And he shoots one through. Base hit. Here comes Bader. And the Yankees have tied it at four. Anthony Rizzo. His second RBI. Man, this season. First one came back in May with the Cardinals. And now Bader will launch one out of here. Harrison Bader gives the Yankees a 5-4 lead. His fifth home run of the postseason. Well, third hit tonight for Bader. As being uh, Bader, 86 games in the regular season, five homers, nine games in the postseason, five homers, and this one gives the Yankees the lead, 5 4. Altuve stays put. Bouncing ball to second base. Flip it to the back. Oh, a bad feed from Torres. Donaldson will run it down. The Yankees knew they had to hurry with the speedy Pena on the run. And they do not get it out on the back. Dangerous bat. Astros down a run. Alvarez shoots one through the hole. The base hit. Altuve on his way to the plate. Judge's throw will come into second. The Astros have tied it. Jordan Alvarez starting to heat up. He's looking for more. Two and two. And Bregman into right center. A base hit. Alex Bregman delivers the go-ahead run. Jeremy Pena scores, and Bregman, the RBI machine, puts Houston in front 6-5. Well, one ball, two strikes. Judge on the ground. Presley's got it. Easy flip. Ball game over, and the Houston Astros win the American League pennant. The Astros are going back to the World Series. Back-to-back -back seasons for the fourth time in the last six years. A dominating performance and a dominating postseason for the Astros. A perfect 7-0 to start this postseason. Welcome to Houston, Texas. Welcome to the World Series. It's game one between the National League champion Philadelphia Phillies and the American League champion Houston Astros.
Tucker hit 30 home runs during the regular season. He golfs one here. Deep right field. Kyle Tucker puts the Astros on the board. You don't mind the solo home run seems to be the theme. Two-thirds of their runs in the playoffs on homers. Yeah, I mean, it's just a long, majestic swing. No batting gloves, and his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch. Of course, Nola was trying to get the ball away. Rudder takes off, and a ground ball base hit. Maldonado comes through, and it's 2 to nothing, Houston. The bottom of the order for the Astros getting things started. The payoff. High drive right center field. Castellanos back at the wall. Kyle Tucker holding game one. breaking ball that he takes and then center cut fastball perfect swing short to the ball and I mean this one crushed something in that Verlander can throw it digs it out in the left base hit Nick Castellanos goes down to that soft stuff and hooks a base hit in the left field third hit of the inning and the Phillies are on the board it's 5-1 that's exactly the plate Got a breaking ball, banged it down the line, and the Phillies find it offensively here in the fourth. Harper's in to score. Castellanos headed home. He'll score, and a two-run double from Bohm. Philadelphia back in the game. It's 5-3. A one pitch. Rio Muto got a breaking ball, lifted it to left center field. McCormick and Alvarez on the move, and it's off the wall. Both runners will come in. The Phillies have come all the way back and tied it in the fifth. JT Riamuto with a two-run double. On a 2-0 pitch. Chops one to third. Bohm with a backhand play. Across the diamond in time. Alec Bohm with a defensive play of the night. And a tip of the cap from his first baseman, Reese Hoskins. It stays tied at five. And back after a word from your local Fox station. Presley's 1-1. Hoskins golfs it on the diamond. Left side of the infield, it's Pena. This game is, wow, up into the bottom of the ninth. Pena catches it twice. It counts as the third out. Eight. This veteran Astros team trying to win game one. 1-1 one, one pitch. Fly ball off the end of the bat, short right field. Castellanos saves the day and sends game one to the 10th. Nick Castellanos of all people with a over there. And Nick Castellanos as well saying, come on in, give yourself a chance at a throw on a base hit. And it winds up giving Castellanos a chance to get under this. Yeah, that was a good read too. The only way he makes that play is a good read and Certainly, that would have been a tough pill to swallow if you're the Phillies on two pop flies. Wow. That right. would have fallen in. 3 2 from Garcia. Real Muto shoots one in the air the other way. Back goes Tucker at the wall. It's gone. Real Muto starts the 10th with a go ahead shot. He tied it in the fifth. He gives them the lead in the tenth. And from down 5 nothing to lead game 1-6-5. Plate, and he just drives it. Keeps everything back. And hits this, and Tucker gives it about as good an effort as you can. Billy's looking for some insurance. Here's a 1-1 pitch to Bohm. Bouncing ball, gently hit to third. Bregman with a bare hand. It's his only chance, and he makes the play.
Alex Bregman. Beautiful stuff. Two gone in the tenth. Bregman at third. Gurriel at second. 2 0 pitch. This time he does get hit, but he leaned into it. They're going to bring him back. Wow, you don't see that very often. You don't see that call made, but ability to get out of the way and almost dove into it. Yep. So 3 0 instead of Diaz aboard with the bases loaded. 3 1 pitch. Diaz bounces one to third for Sosa. Steps into his throw in time, and the Phillies take game one. Their improbable run continues with an improbable game one win in the World Series from down 5 0 to win, John, 6 5. Uh, it's hard to explain. I mean, it really is hard to explain other than the team that really feels like <laughs> they're the team that's supposed to win it, and there's the team that got in the lead, the last team to get in. Is After a Game 1 Classic, we are set from Houston, Texas for Game 2 of the World Series. The Philadelphia Phillies rally to win Game 1 in 10 and 8. Try to get this series even up at a game apiece. He's shooting above 500 against hard stuff in this postseason. He got a breaking ball, and the Astros waste no time. Two pitches into the game. 1-0 Houston. What a catch there by uh, Segura as that ball gets by Sosa. Back to back. Pitcher. In the air the other way, Schwarber goes back onto the track. He's at the wall and it's off it. The Astros all over things right away. How about three straight doubles and a 2 nothing lead? Bounce to Sosa. Calmly plays it. Low throw and Hoskins can't grab it. Phillies defense costs them a run. Three to nothing, Houston. And over ten and two thirds. A strikeout to open the second for Valdez. He is now two for his last 23 as he watches that curve sneak to the back door. He's in to figure out the long-term solution at manager. Nobody really saw this coming. Sosa's down on strikes, one gone in the third. Valdez trying to finish him off and does for the breaking ball. Strikeout number five for Framber Valdez. And delivers. Gets him. Big breaking ball from Framber Valdez. Six. Cool and calm. Framber Valdez looking for a one, two, three inning against the heart of the Phillies lineup. And he's got it with bookend strikeouts. Valdez back home 3 2. Strikes out Sosa. Framber Valdez, five scoreless innings. Halfway home in game two. Pitch from Zach Wheeler. Bregman. Hits one in the air to deep left center field. Back it goes. It is gone. Alex Bregman strikes again in the World Series. Pack swings. Watch how quick he gets the bat, bat to the ball. Doesn't have much movement. Doesn't miss pitches when he's given the opportunity. I mean, this ballpark was made for Alex Bregman. Against this crew. Gene Segura on an 0 1. Golfs one to left. Sends Diaz back. Tiptoeing to the track. In the perfect spot. He's got it. It'll drive home Castellanos, and the fills are on the board. A 5-1 game as Gene Segura gets a sacrifice fly. Okay is tonight. First pitch from Montero. Grounds one up the middle. Payne is there. Shovels it off to nobody. And headed for third is Bryson Stock. Altuve thought that Pena was going to first. Pena thought Altuve was going to second. And now season high. 
Harper cracks his bat, short right field. Out goes Altuve, on comes Tucker and Pena. Bermuda's triangle closes and the shortstop Pena comes over to catch it. On the ground to first and it gets by Gurriel. Bowman to score, Marsh to second, it's 5-2 and it's not done yet. On a one, stop. Grounds one to second for Altuve. He's got it. And the Astros have a win in game two. The World Series is tied 1-1 as it heads back to Philadelphia. title fight in South Philly. The World Series returns to this cauldron that is Citizens Bank Park. For the first time in 13 years, the Fall Classic is in South Philadelphia. The Astros and Phillies all set for game three. First pitch. Off we go in game three. He swings away, floats it to right. Castellano scrapes it off of the deck. One gone, one swing, one highlight play. Well, it's pretty ironic. He made this play to save a game earlier in the postseason, and he starts the game with a similar play. <laughs> and that play he made was in Houston. McCullers to Harper. It's drilled. Right center field. Lightning strikes. Two nothing fills. They pitched him really tough over the first two games. He was two for eight, just two singles coming in. First pitch breaking ball, like you said, you'd figure he'd be sitting on, and he didn't miss it. No, he didn't. And those last two swings at home. Breath and settle into this game. Two nothing Phillies. Alec Bohm starts the second and rips one to left field over Alvarez and gone. Ambrose three zip. On a 2-0 from McCullers, Marsh hits a fly ball to right field. Tucker drifting back to the track, to the wall. He can't get it. It's off the top of the wall and gone. The third home run for the Phillies. Another hanging breaking ball to a good breaking ball hitter. And again, not being able to establish that fastball is coming back to haunt McCullers. At first look, it looked like it was going to be over the fence. We can't see that yellow line because it's really covered by the banner. But that's going to probably be a home run. Based on have been known to have given away pitches. Schroeder flies it to center field. McCormick's going back. He's at the track. He's at the wall. Gone! Wow! Monstrous blast! right there is another changeup that looks like the hitters are not fooled. He was staying on that pitch the entire way. I mean, that is awfully difficult to do. And center cut that to center field, so good visit here to the mound, but they get out of their own mechanics when they're at the plate. 
Hoskins with a drive. Left field. Wow! An explosion. The South Philly Bombers with five. is not a fastball and you can sit middle of the plate and Hoskins was all over. His sixth of the postseason, the fifth for the Phillies tonight. Another 3-2. That's it. For these Phillies and these fans, it was worth the wait for 13 years and another day with the rain out yesterday. They power their way to a game three win, five home runs, seven nothing, and they lead the series two games to one. Come to the best scene in baseball, the World Series at Citizens Bank Park. They waited 13 years to get the World Series back here, and then an emphatic 7-0 win to take a 2-1 series lead. Game four between the Phillies and the Astros coming right up. Javier fires a 1-2 and strikes him out, getting a chase with the slider. Innings. Sticks with the breaking stuff. Three in a row to get Castellanos. Yet to lose back-to-back -back games this postseason. Harper runs, boom, swings and misses. Not in time. Stolen base for Bryce Harper. One-two pitch. There goes Marsh. Schwarber takes strike three. Vasquez throws. Not in time. Second stolen base for the Phillies tonight. In two games to one in this World Series. Real Muto's down on a high fastball. Breaking ball, breaking ball, breaking ball, and then voom. Chip, he's a totally different player than the obvious early age one. Down swinging here. Christian Javier blows a fastball by Bryce Harper. Back to back of 41 postseason games. Castellanos down swinging, and Christian Javier blowing his fastball by Phillies hitters. Strike. The rookie rips one through base hit. It was hit so hard that they just go station to station and the bases are loaded. 12. Left hander against left hander. Jordan Elvarez gets hit by the first pitch, and that's how Houston gets the first run of game four. Jose to hole, waits on this pitch. Here it comes. Cracks one to right, down the line. That's a fair ball. Alex Bregman delivers. Two runs are in. Bregman to second with a two-run double. And the Astros lead it 3-0. On an 0-2 pitch against yeah. the flame-throwing Jose Alvarado, Alex. He got it airborne, and he got two runs. And like I said, the inning that could get away from the Philadelphia Phillies is on the brink of the Astros putting a really big crooked number already. Three nothing. Three in the bank. Nobody else. Tucker drills one to right center. Marsh to his left. He's there. Here comes number four. Throw goes to third. Breckman is in there safely. Sacrifice fly for Kyle Tucker, and it's a four spot for the Astros in the fifth. The score. Ground ball base hit. Yuli Gurriel with a two strike hit. Houston with a 5 0 lead. They went 15 innings without a run. They strike for five in this inning alone. Good news for the other team in Florida, Oz Ocampo, who as the Astros international scouting director signed Javier from Valdez. A one-two to stop. Another Three. fastball to the knees. Five consecutive strikeouts for Javier. Five of his last 36 to the All-Star break. Strikes out Real Muto with a tight slider for the first out of the seventh. 
You talked about the rain out, rain out and what that did for the Phillies. Harper down, swing in, two gone. But the formula is pretty simple. If you get starting pitching and you can turn it over to your leverage bullpen. Two and two on Castellanos. Abreu strikes out the side. And the Astros have combined to put up seven no-hit innings in game four. Gene Segura, who's 0 for 2. Shoots one to right. That hangs up. And the Astros have eight no-hit innings. A line drive that Tucker gets under. Set somewhere down the road in the series. Fly ball to right. On comes Tucker. He's there. Wow, he caught it about a foot off of the ground. Two gone in the ninth inning. And the Astros are one out away from a no-hitter. Real Muto. Bouncing ball to third. Picked by Brickman. Throw across in time. The Astros have a World Series no-hitter. The second one in World Series history. Don Larson in 1956. Joined by Christian Javier, Brian Abreu, Rafael Montero, and Ryan Presley. A 5 -0. Now tied at two games apiece. One more game at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. It's the Astros and the Phillies. It's game five here on Fox. El Tuve. Pokes one to right center field. Brandon Marsh on the move to the warning track at the wall, and it's off it. Jose El Tuve, opposite field power. He's not going to stop at second. He's got a triple. What a start for the Astros. Now to no one pitch. Pena up the middle and through, and the Astros on the board just like that. I don't know that I've ever seen the first hitter get on third and the infield come in on the second batter. That one nothing here in game five. Another three two pitch. Pena runs again. A swing and a miss. Throw down. What a catch and tag. Rio moves over the cannon. Bryson stopped. The quick hands for the strike him out, throw him out. 0 oh, 2. That's the inning. So the Astros get on the board. But Noah Syndergaard, with a little help from his battery mate, Real Muto, puts his foot down. Phillies come to bat. Down 1 0 after this. That's it. Yeah. Bats. Yeah. Schwarber turns on a ball. Deep right field and gone. Of course he did. Ball up. We talked about Verlander likes to pitch up, and look at that tomahawk swing. That's how you get on top of a fastball. Now, the one thing they weren't able to do because Javier's fastball had a little extra life on it, they were underneath the fastball. So, how do you make that adjustment? Get on top, and they did. It's a career high in the postseason. It was 35th postseason start. That's a pick that's short by Jeremy Pena. Wow. That's probably the best ball that Nick. Syndergaard trying to finish with an exclamation. Instead of fly ball to left, it sends Schwarber back onto the track at the wall. Payne has done it again. He's given the Astros a 2-1 lead in game five. After 22 home runs during the regular season, his fourth of the postseason. And then right in the zone, Yaya, yeah, yeah, home run. And Syndergaard knew it as soon as he let it go in the zone. Spoiling the geese. Ground ball to first. That's a fair ball. Hoskins knocks it down, and his only play is to tag Alvarez.
El Tuve in to score, and it's 3-1. Position. Segura. Cracks on the right center field and breaks the streak. Castellanos in to score. Step to third. Clutch Gene comes through. It's a 3-2 game in the eighth. The one-two. Third ball and picked by Mancini. Off of the bench for Guriel and Trey Mancini keeps the Astros in front. Wow. Hit a mistake in, but go the other way. Fly ball right center field. McCormick on the move. He's at the track. He's at the wall. Makes the grab. Taz McCormick. Two gone in the ninth. Did. He went the other way. That's the stroke. And this play right there. I mean, the degree of difficulty, and it's a double or triple. But JT stays on the ball, and it looks like for a moment that's going to be trouble. Unbelievable. There he goes. Here it comes. A bouncing ball to short. Pena's there. Steps into the throw. Best throw take game five. In a thriller, 3-2 the final score. And 3-2 is the series as it goes back to Houston. And Justin Verlander gets off the schneid. In his ninth start in the World Series, he gets his first win. Five innings, just one run. And the scene shifts back to Houston, Texas for game six of the World Series. Phillies took an advantage in this series early on in Philadelphia, but the Astros have won the last two and now on the verge of clinching a world championship. His ability to move on from things that don't go his way. He immediately deuces a bouncing ball. They get the out at second, and they turn two. Framber Valdez needs just one pitch to erase it. First pitch. Got a fastball, grounded it right side. Sliding play, Jeremy Pena. What a postseason run this kid's having. Scoreless top. Another one-two pitch. A Hickey. fastball, and he gets the call down there at the bottom of the zone. One gone in the second on his. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. It is Hickey. straight three as the curveball falls from the heavens to get Segura. That's Schwarber starts the third. And Hickey. takes strike three. Valdez turns and deals. Hoskins watches strike three. Curveball falls in there to get him. 2-2. Two -two. Strikes out the side. On a 2-2. Two -two. Harper swings and misses. It was a fastball and it was in on him. And so far in the postseason. Another 3-2. Strike three called. He went off of the inside corner to ring him up. He's carving through him tonight. Strikes out at Mundo Sosa. Fromber Valdez, eight Ks through five scoreless innings. Halfway home in game six. Success. Let's see on 2 2. It's a fastball and it's cranked to right field and it's gone. Astros blink first. Schwarber with a blast, and it's 1-0 in the sixth. It's about as quick a hands as you're going to see when we get a chance to see this replay. And Schwarber has been doing this throughout his career. Makes it disappear. You've got to be so quick to the ball right there. And poo. that's what the Phillies needed. First one to score. Schwarber with his third one, nothing. On a 2 1, Alvarez. It's a high drive center field. Veerling's back. This game is turned upside down.
in a series, the better chances start going to the hitter. And you saw he knew right away. Everybody in this crowd knew right away. And unfortunately, Alvarado knew right away. You're not supposed to be able to hit him up there. No. I don't think I've ever had a career. Base hit left field, Christian Vasquez. Bregman heads home. Schwarber can't get it cleanly. Massive insurance run knocked in by Vasquez. Vasquez, we said, is a good low ball hitter. And where was that pitch? It was in off the plate, but it was low. And he allowed him to get the barrel of the bat to the ball. Schwarber trying to make a do or die play, field it and throw. Don't think it would have mattered, but what a huge two out base hit. 0-2 pitch. Got him. Hector Neris with a 1-2-3-7. The Astros are six outs away. And now Hoskins starting the ninth. Pops it up. Tucker. Astros two outs away. He slices a pop in the left. Jordan Alvarez. The Astros are one out away. Castellanos. There goes the runner. Fly ball down the right field line. Tucker comes on. Kyle Tucker. This time they finish the job. The Houston Astros world champions. as you watch this replay everything comes full circle right here and you feel like you're stuck in quicksand with so much over your head so much explaining and it carries over for a long time well you know what they got out of it and Dusty Baker got out of his and what a moment for Houston and what a moment for the city you know, Dusty Baker was a finalist for the Phillies job when they hired Joe Girardi in 2020, and he was crushed when he didn't get it. And he goes back home to California, and he talks with his son, Darren, and Darren says, Dad, maybe you weren't supposed to get that job. Maybe you got to be patient to go where you're meant to be. A week later, the phone rang. It was the Houston Astros. The right man at the right time for the right team. And now world champion as a manager for the first time as the Astros beat the Phillies in six games in 2022. It's now my honor and pleasure to give the commissioner's trophy to Jim Crane, the owner of the 2022 World Series champion, Houston Astros.